Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a test. You are now entering the realm of the deep Okay. That time has come to play. Here we go! Welcome to the definitive gamer-centric comedy podcast. The Fuse is reviewing new releases, reminiscing about the classics, picking apart the latest gaming news, and welcoming guests from the cream of the comedy world. All delivered with a heavy download of humour. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. So strap into your gaming chairs for the next 90 minutes and prepare to be touched <laughs> by the D-pad. Look, we work as a team. No one gets left behind. Reguesca di pace. Yo, what's going on? How's it going? That team, welcome to the D-Pad Podcast, episode 17. It's your boy Jeff Lidge, it's your man, Future Man Yo, Gaming, it's your sexy hunk, Mr. Swifter, and of course our special guest today, the one, the only, Dante Nero! What's Woo! going on? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Woo! Yeah. Uh, Dante is a good buddy of mine here on the comedy circuit in New York City where he kills it, slays it, yeah, That's queen, right. he That's slays right. it every That's night right. on stage at all the top <laughs> comedy clubs in the city. You can also see him as an actor on Blacklist, on NBC, and also Power on Sparks Network, right? Stars. Stars, Stars. Network, sorry, my yeah. bad, my bad. And, uh, and not only is he an actor and a comedian, he also hosts his own shit hot podcast, which yes. is, I mean, we're slightly jealous. He, he gets a few more <laughs> downloads in there than us at the moment, but Maybe we'll catch two. him up. <laughs> we'll catch him up. <laughs> Called The Beige Phillips Show. Uh, it's getting a hell of a lot of downloads every single month. You guys mm-hmm. can check that out on iTunes and across all podcast services. The Beige Philip. Go mm-hmm. and find that as well. Dante, yeah. thanks for being here, bruv. Thanks for having me, bro. I feel like, you know what I've just realized? What? Fucking revelation. Neither of us have got our rings on. No, no. Oh. Guys, no. That's so weird. He rocked the rings too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. D- right. So, Dante, so <laughs> most people will know me for my signature gigantic jewelry yeah. from my buddy's shop, The Great Frog. I get a lot right, of my right, stuff right. down there. Big silver skull rings. Dante has, when, I, when we arrived in New York, when I first got here, me and you met down yeah, at the comedy cellar. And we sat down at a table and you were like, man, I like your rings. And then you sat right. down and you had all this fucking jewelry on. I was yeah, like, yeah. you've got more metal on you than <laughs> I have. This is not yeah. allowed. What's going on? And we bonded yes. over our, our group of guy. Then I took him down to the store. And I was going to check it out. God, and then he bought the whole fucking store. <laughs> so now Dude, my ring cool. game is second only to Dante <laughs> Nero. But I, we've got nothing on today. No, man. I'm just that's, what the fi- that's what the fingers look like. There you yeah, go. There they it's, are. It's interesting. And I got huge fingers, so... Oh, you got huge everything, we, let's we, be honest, Dante. <laughs> that didn't mean to sound as homoerotic as yeah, it did. That's all right. My point <laughs> is that you are, you're a big fucking dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and you obviously, I mean, let's be honest, when it comes to acting roles, do you always get typecast as yeah, it's the, the big, big motherfucker? I'm always choking somebody and throwing them in the yeah. dumpster. <laughs> what about gone. when you're doing acting roles, though? That's hey! Hey, well, yo. <laughs> oh. Waka waka. What do you do out of the bedroom? <laughs> oh! <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you got you get you play the big dude, man. We gotta yeah. know our typecast. I always play. Well, I mean, you know, I don't think anybody acts now that doesn't play who they who they are. Yeah, you know, everybody kind of plays who they are. Character actors, there's yeah. some characters, but that's more comedy yeah, yeah. and comedy roles. But even right? the char- even character actors kind of play the weird character role. Like Johnny Depp will play Pirates of the Caribbean. He'll play Edward Scissor's hand. I mean, those are all He's weird. The, the weird kind guy. Of yeah, yeah. Quirky so even, stuff. Even yeah. Kind of he plays the, it's still weird. the wife beater. Yeah, no, yeah. he doesn't. He didn't do it. <laughs> Free Johnny Depp. <laughs> but he, he plays weird you know, parts. So he's typecasted in that. What so. would what would each of our typecasts be? Um, <laughs> what about Swifts? Well, Swift... Uh, Middle Swift Eastern terrorists, how, right? Yeah, we, <laughs> right, right. You can do the terrorists. away from me. <laughs> right, I'm trying to think. Uh, cab, you can play a good cab driver. That's you, right. You, there we go. Don't, don't worry. I'll be the way you want to go. Where are you yeah. take it? He could be the light relief. I could actually yeah. see Swift being like the... Yeah, they jump in the light... Quick, go, go, follow that guy. Hey, hey, you're in my car now. <laughs> you don't tell me what to do. Hey, what's going on? Welcome to New York City. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. Or I feel like he could play like an evil yeah, that's lawyer. Yeah, Like yeah, an yeah. evil lawyer. Oh, like, yeah, on, let me see. Let me put, see. A nice put an evil suit. face. Put an evil face. Yeah, look at those yeah. eyes. Oh. That's an evil face. That's, I was, I was <laughs> All right. 
You know what? I, I mention your eyes at least once <laughs> every podcast. I'm and I, I don't even regret it. You've got some of the most beautiful, yeah. sparkly eyes. Yeah. You do lose I've, yourself in them sometimes. The eyes are what... He knows it. That's what he girls want to bang. You know, like, girls <laughs> always have one thing when they look at a dude. They go, oh, he's got a really nice yeah. smile. He's got a really good eye. Your fucking eyes, bro. That's what... Girls just see those eyes and they want to just, like, smother the rest of your face in their lady bits. Because <laughs> he knows it. And he just have it. those fucking eyes looking up at them, just <laughs> sparkling away. He no, locks eyes. Good eyes. Yeah. That's, that's all I pray for every night. What about Future Man? What's his type cast? Uh, he probably would play uh, the pot, the weed dealer. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, I got Diesel. Shit. I got train wreck. It's funny you, you should man? say what that, actually. If you, uh, if you check out our website, uh, there are some deals on there. Use code TEMPO to get 10% off all weed from Future Man. <laughs> uh, uh, what about me? What would I play? Uh the wall you'd be on the wall game of thrones on the oh, wall oh yeah you have to be on the John wall you like Snow. the sound of that lord commander of the night's watch <laughs> there we go yeah you know what I, I always want, wanted to be john snow yeah. and then someone put it in perspective for me and was like motherfucker you're benjamin stark and i was like really that old <laughs> am and I, dead am is I? that am i really that old looking <laughs> yes, yes yes i am <laughs> confirmed aged yeah. confirmed cool i mean you gotta you gotta know your typecast and acting roles right mm-hmm. yeah i mean you get you get i mean you gotta work where they tell you to work you know if you lost muscle mass though and just like became like a, a twink you could be like you could play like the I gay would, Latino I would hairdresser. Be the biggest twink ever. Yeah, he's like he could do it. Twink. I don't think I could pull it off. You could do like you could do like gay Latino hairdresser. I yeah, feel yeah, like. I could. Do, I mean, but they do that too. Damn, papi, why you playing with they me? They will <laughs> take me and put me in a situation where I shouldn't be in. Like I did a I did a commercial for Sobe Life Water where I wore a tutu and we danced to Swan Lake. There you uh, go. Then, so, so that's a that little bit of a different of one. Fish out of water. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I get that. I you see know, that. So, uh, because I mean, it's aesthetically funny for a yeah. huge dude coming in tattoos yeah, and fucking exactly. jewelry with a bone through his ear. Exactly. Uh, it makes me want to drink Sobe. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Nothing makes me want to drink Sobe. Yeah, put it on some we are looking for sponsors, by the way, Sobe. Hey, so if you uh, hit, hit us up. We um, can wear tutus. We can uh, cut a deal. Yeah. Maybe Dante <laughs> will wear the podcast. Uh, on the podcast, Listen, he'll wear the tutu. I'll yeah. wear the tutu. You there cut we the go. Check. You cut the check. I'll <laughs> wear anything. Fuck yeah. Confirmed. I get that. But they're never going to like hit you up. Have you ever gone up for a casting and you've walked in the room and you've been like, why the fuck am I here? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll get every once in a while because I, I do this I, like I'm a black dude, but I get this ambiguously ethnic thing. I thought you might have been like Latin black mix. When I'm, I first I'm a black you. dude, but I've never played a black dude ever. That's like my dream. One day I'll play. I'll actually <laughs> yeah, play, play a black, black dude. Yeah. Yeah. But I've played New Zealand, Australian, uh, so, yeah, I can see Arabic, like Polynesian, uh, I can Polynesian, see that. everything, but but. Latino, Mexican, you name it. So. so you're weighing, just let me be my race. I want to be w- one <laughs> time. Like, my name's Dante, I'm once black, I want to be typecast as a character called Terrell. Just once cho- I want to be I'm Terrell. I'm always choking somebody. I always, I'm choking yeah, somebody. Yeah, just beating like, somebody up. I did that movie with a, there's a movie out, it's actually on Netflix now, but it's a called Fighting, where I choke Channing Tatum. Nice. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm like, I mean, there's a lot of people in our in our chat who'd probably like to choke to Channing Tatum. <laughs> he's a really nice dude, though. Yeah, want to not like him because he's so good looking and he's so talented. How tall is he? Uh, he's only he's maybe six one. Oh, he's reasonably he's, tall. He's, he's a reasonably he's big not guy. A, he's not not a huge. You know, he's like a little above average. But he's a really good, like a nice dude. So he, uh, we had a situation where I'm choking him, and and he goes, "This was one of his early movies." Yeah. And mm-hmm. he goes, uh, "You got to really choke me." Because, you know, you want to see the blood in your eyes. And, and I was like, dude, I don't think this is a good idea. Mm-hmm. He goes, no, no. He's like, you gotta, you wanna, I want to see the veins. And, and I was like, so they did a take where I'm choking him. And I really, like, choked him. And then what happens is they kick me in the head and I push him down mm-hmm. to chase the guy who kicks me in the head. And he was out. Are you not yeah, going to And they were like, oh. cut, 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 cut. And I was like, I, he... He told me <laughs> he to. Told me and to then said, he came to and was like, I didn't say anything. What this guy fuck? fucking attacked me. <laughs> <laughs> he literally I'm couldn't Jimmy remember Tatum. the last minute uh, of his life. <laughs> Yeah, because he kinda, he didn't go all the way out, but like where he's I, I and that was the last down, time you yeah. ever worked I in Hollywood. The other guys, and he's supposed to come up and jump on my, back, and he just kind of stays yeah, yeah, like, uh, a little uh, bit uh, down. Yeah. yeah. So. It's like, did you swap numbers or never, yeah, never, never I, hung I out after him, that? I, I spoke to him a little. We hung out a little bit afterwards, and then he just blew. I mean, blew was, up. He just blew. Like he did a he did a thing. He did a movie, an, an indie film, and then he did this film, and then mm-hmm. after that, I think he did the GI Joe movie. You always got to do the indie film, yeah. the art film. Then you do the the fucking Hollywood film. Yeah. Then you do the action film for the money. Then he did the he did 
G.I. Joe with uh, Marlon Wayans. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then just. just Was that off. it? Was that the movie that blew, blew up his I, career? I would think. I would, well, um, the guy who won, he won Sundance, who actually did the, the movie Fighting. And then yeah. G.I. Joe was right after Okay, that. so then, it was like boom, boom, right yeah, in a row. Yeah, and then he just, it was ridiculous. Yeah. But he was, you know, I'm, and then he did the, no, I think you know what it was. Have you Step seen G.I. Joe? You seen G.I. Joe, Swift? I've seen some of it. Like, I, didn't yeah. see the, I didn't see the entire movie. I've seen yeah. the clips. I didn't I've see never it. Seen it. I've never seen no. it. It's right my alley, but just I just, th- I just think of the good. fucking internet virals. Whenever I hear G.I. Joe, all I think of is the PSAs, you yeah. know? <laughs> G.I. Joe. <laughs> me, 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 me. That's it, yeah. Who wants a body massage? That's it. That's what I think of. Inter- you, my life is now internet memes. Did you, you <laughs> fuck around with G.I. Joe when you were a kid or no? I mean, it wasn't really a huge thing in no. the UK. It's no. not like a... It was definitely on sometimes. Was there like an equivalent though? Um, <laughs> G.I. John. Yeah. 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 <laughs> G.I. John. No, C.I.D. John. <laughs> kind of, oh, hello. How's it going? Yeah. Oh, look at you. We're being rather naughty, aren't you? <laughs> Mother knows best. And now you know. And knowing is half Not of the battle. battle. <laughs> Toodle plip. That's, that was that. John. C.I.D. John, yeah. He was kind of like wore a bowler hat. He worked for Scotland Yard. <laughs> he fucked kids. He was a bad guy. Yeah, he was a bad yeah, guy. Didn't but, really you know, take very, off. Well, very British, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah so Operation like Holmes, Utree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He said he had a deer stalker on. <laughs> I can tell you, Watson. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was that would fucking work, I guess. No, G.I. Joe wasn't like huge in the UK, or maybe I was just like, maybe I just didn't see it that yeah. much. We, I mean, we had all like, a lot of other American American stuff like WWE back when it was right. WWE right. Uh, yeah. or WWF. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. when yeah. it was yeah. WWF. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, fucking that was my that was my jam. I used to love yeah. watching WWF. You yeah. Still watch now? No. Not really, no. I mean, I've got a couple of buds now who yeah. who do WWE. Though. They came up through um, oh, yeah. a thing called Lucha Britannia, yeah. which is a group, an amazing group of people. In fact, one of one of the guys, Lucha Freddy, moved to Canada. He's one of my Twitch viewers, mm-hmm. and he's uh, he dresses as Freddie Mercurio. So he's he's Freddie Mercury yeah. back from the uh, oh, who's, wow, as a wow, wrestler. Wow. Cool. So they all have these. So it's basically Mexican wrestling and WWE style American yeah. wrestling fused together. And they all have these incredible characters. And yeah. it has like a gore-esque and burlesque yeah, in between yeah. and fire breathing and sword swallowing yeah. in between the shows. So they're like these live shows in this place in East London. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But um, a couple of those guys now have blown up and gone to the more, I think the more marketable. Yeah, yeah. Just the next know, level. The, yeah. the guys who look a bit more WWE, you know, a yeah. bit more straight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in that sense, have gone to have actually now gone to. Well, you know what I, with I always WWE. find is like when people talk about the, the the climate of the the nation in general. Wrestling always kind of follows that climate. Yeah. So like when you had Russia as the the the, the, the Cold evil, War, yeah. you had Nikolai Volokov, and you had these things, and then at, now so now you have with the whole millennial thing. And everybody is kind of like the me generation. That's when the heels stop being the heels. Like if you look at initially Hulk Hogan was, you know, he was the hero. You had a very mm-hmm. distinct kind of. And then they made him a heel for a while, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Turn they did heel, it when he man. came back. But they, heel. I mean, but come back. on, it's Hulk Hogan, dude. Well, I think they. I think it kind of worked. After he did, did that, yeah, really, it kind of worked. If I remember, it kind of worked. That porno movie, and then they were like, <laughs> yeah, "Oh, yeah. we better make him a bad guy for a while." <laughs> it was. Uh, it was NWO. It reflects his real life. It was called a New World Order. Donald Trump, he was in it, right? He did beat up Vincent Man. Did he like? He, they shaved his head. Yeah, he shaved Vince McMahon's shaved head. Man. Yeah, head. And Steve Austin Stone Cold stunned him. Like that was what, Steve Donald Trump. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> if only he'd do that now. I was <laughs> looking yeah. for the video of that. I was watching him getting stunned. <laughs> yeah, when, but it's yeah. that. It's like it's off the internet. They took it off. <laughs> it's gone. Wow. Yeah, Damn it's it. crazy. I really wanted to put that up. Bring that shit. That's where he needs to be. Yeah, not right. In a fucking yeah. political race. Absolutely. Terrifying. Absolutely. So you do lots of acting as well. Have you ever done any voice acting or anything in video games? Would you? Um, want? I did do. I did. Um, I could oh see you God. as a fucking character in GTA Six. I played a, merc- I, I played a yeah, mercenary dude. in. Oh God, I don't even remember Call of Duty or something like that. Yeah, yeah I was a merc. Um, I know it's on my IMDb, but I, I yeah. did a voiceover for, yeah. for as a mercenary. Um, I get, I can forget what it was. That was kind of like a, and they they had me do a commercial. Joseph found the video. Found Stone Cold it? Steve Austin. Oh, is that with him? Uh, him, him, like taking, Stun- taking Donald Trump, stunning Donald Trump. You can find it on, New Year's Boom. on YouTube. They go, Boom. Boom. Why did I see this gift? <laughs> <laughs> that was like a really bad stun. Yeah, man. yeah. Like, 
<laughs> it was really bad. Like, Donald Trump. Donald Trump didn't know what the fucking do. Well, he man. doesn't even know what he's doing in a fucking. Yeah, he, he doesn't know. <laughs> and just, boom. <laughs> Oh, here we go. And then Boom. I like fall down really like slowly. He's, there we he's go. He stunned his fucking haircut. Yeah. And that was yeah. it. <laughs> that's actually, that's where all his power resides, right? <laughs> exactly. Like Samson. So we actually got like him. Sam- really? Yeah. Typical Samson. So you did get it. Yeah. Um, uh, okay. And, and what about video games, man? What's, what's your, what has been I, your history I've been of video playing, games? I, I, you know, for years, I, I grew up Atari, um, Sega Genesis, Dreamcast, uh, every level. Along the way. Boom, 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 boom. boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I'm I'm uh, Xbox dude pretty much now. Uh, uh, you don't like you know, you're I'm PlayStation. a PlayStation man. Oh, I just God. like <laughs> I have to pretend like it's beef between us. Yeah, exactly. Twitch chat likes to start Uh-oh. that conversation. Yeah, exactly. Hey man, this one's better. Yeah. No, you know yeah. what? Fuck you. This one is. <laughs> Nobody changes their mind. It's just whatever you bought. I'm right? just yeah. like I'm shut right. up. <laughs> what are you, yeah. Swift? What are you? You're no, both. You're every that's console it. that's ever existed. <laughs> right, right. Swift, Swift is God. Like, so if you do both. Yeah. 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 Swift, yeah. Swift, yeah. Swift, Swift it, does everything. Yeah. You gotta do it all. Swift is like bisexual in games. Yeah. <laughs> Trisexual. <laughs> He'll do anything. He'll try right, anything right. There, there we go. There we go. Yeah, he's got Vive. He's got he's he has like an Oculus headset on one eye and then a Vive headset on the other eye. He's got like he's playing with a fucking old school. Joystick uh-huh. with his tip you know of his what penis. I really yeah. I got stuck that, on for I, a minute. Uh, that I was playing. Uh, I don't even know what I'm saying. Clash of Clans. I'm so sexual towards you today. I don't know why. I'm <laughs> sorry, man. It's, it's his eyes. Swift puts out the vibe, you know, man. Swift got a little fucked up last night. He oh. went out with a couple of buddies. <laughs> I was, I'm, just out, I'm an old man. I was out a lot later than I usually am. But it was, it was a lot of Chill fun. Chill out, now. dude. You're not an old man. He went out with a couple of buds last night. He got a little bit loose. You can yeah. see he like fucking he danced. And that's just some I, I guarantee some chick hit on him and he was like, mm-hmm. "Baby, I, I've got a fucking lady already. I don't I'm need good. you." He's like, he's had a night of just living the dream. His <laughs> buddy's like, "Swift man, you're killing over." He's like, "I don't know, I got yeah. this through." I'm he's killing. woken up he's just, just a little, little bit hungover. Swagger. He's feeling ultimately he's just sexy. With a little swagger, look at that. Man. He's chill. leaning. Look at like that. Chill. He's, he's, uh, we've got a green screen on the yeah. couch, so he's leaning on the couch. So it looks like he's leaning on thin air. That's how fucking. That's how you do. That's how fucking cool is. He looks like he's doing the weirdest karate move. Yeah. Like the whole, the whole uh, no, no, I'm self conscious, guys. Way to go. <laughs> You'll be able to see this on the VODs, man. You'll be able to see this on the VODs, which we are going to start uploading all those to YouTube very soon, anyway. So we'll, we'll have them up for Get you. Those up. But yeah, yeah, I think that's what it is, man. You know, when you're like a little fucked up the night before, I don't know about you guys, when I wake up just a little hungover, not like. Not like I, I got like ruined. Usual. <laughs> right. Like, yeah, exactly. Not like I threw up last night yeah. and like tried to get a hook around at four in the morning, kind yeah. of drunk. Yeah. But like, you know, I had a few beers and I've woken up with a little, ooh, I think that I look a bit better. There's like a, you know, Thanks. you look kind a little bit a, sucked in, like yeah. the water retention's gone. Yeah, you got yeah, like right. a little- Dehydrated. Little, yeah, man. Maybe that's yeah. it. Maybe that's what look I got. The is that the secret? Yeah. I don't know. The eyes are sparkly as shit, man. <laughs> dude, maybe, maybe, you're, maybe you're onto it, man. Maybe that's what it I'm is. I'm just projecting, dude. I, I haven't had a drink. For, like, I haven't oh, had a okay. drink for a week, man. Not, I haven't had one alcoholic <laughs> beverage in a week, which I know is normal for a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, that's like weird. And so I think I'm just like, I'm just, I'm trying to, Whoa. I can smell it. <laughs> and I, like, I, I think you're onto it, man. That, maybe that's like ne- before next date night, I'm just going to like, you know, go wild the night before. Wild for me anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like top form. Maybe this is it. He's going to have like four Moscow mules and then in the morning he's going to give his woman the best fucking cunny lingus she's ever had. <laughs> and then go off to the deep end. Uh, what? 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 It's the huh? thing. That's a thing. Don't, don't woe me. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, not, not you. This, that was more for my Even my, your my girlfriend's girl at home watching right watch. now going, yeah! yeah. Moscow <laughs> mules. <laughs> she's going to buy you the drinks. Exactly, Moscow mules. <laughs> yeah. That's she's going to buy you well. the fucking drinks. Um, so yeah, so you used to fuck with all those and now you're on Xbox. Yeah, I'm on Xbox. What, just, what, what's your love, man? What's your kind of, I your love, genre? Like, I love Gears of War. Gears of War. Oh, I love, I love mm-hmm. Gears of War. I love the, the, the locusts and the, the hordes and stuff. Um, I, I, I also like because those, the characters are so thick. Like their the the necks are beefy, the big, their feet yeah. are big. It's like looking in a mirror, yeah, a video man, game yeah, mirror. Yeah, like I can, I can get with these guys right. and they're like, come on, let's go. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I, I like that. Um, I like the, the the precision of the game. Um, it's difficult. It's a. Diff- I mean, even if you play the game, it's difficult. Some of the bosses are really difficult. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, like the 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 Blood Walker. Like the, it's that huge ogre. That I've never played you games of War. Oh, really? really? I, the more podcasts oh we do God. here, I realize so that many I games, feel like man. I, there's so many games that a you guys all seem to have played all of them. No, I'm uh, with you, Jet. There's like really? a lot of class. Like, I mean, you guys it, it kind of depends oh, yeah, on, on what 
console you had growing up, like you, it's it's so hard to play every single game. Like I missed out on a lot of PlayStation, like Ratchet and Clank, Sly Cooper. All the kill zones, like oh, like kill just, zones! I know, played all of them. There you go. Finally, one. <laughs> you I got go. one that I have played. But yeah. like, it kind of depends all. on you. Can, you can't play them yeah. all, really. Yeah. Also, I did a lot of drugs back in the day, and I've forgotten most of what I played. You probably played those games. Actually, I played FIFA on repeat for at least five years because yeah. all I was doing was smoking weed and fucking playing <laughs> <FIFA>. drinking, <laughs> playing FIFA. That, yeah. So that was you a, a lot of chunk. Of yeah, yeah, exactly. Why well, I should have done something else. I understand. So, all right. So, your Gears of War. That's I like game. Gears of War. Like, I um, I love. What the, is it about? And then you just like you like the thick neck characters. You I like liked, I like the characters. I like the gameplay. I like uh, role third, player I like third person. Mm-hmm. I like this. I like third person. I don't really like first person. Mm-hmm. It just I don't know. It just kind of bothers me. That you like I'm, that third person. I, I like looking over the guy's head mm-hmm. over his shoulder. Okay. Yep. Um. I I um. I love that is I, the creepiest I, statement from a man of your size. <laughs> up, I just like yeah. the over the guy. Yeah. I just like um, being behind I, him. I just I feel like it, it gives me a feel, a more of a feel prison, of being prison in it bitch. You just wanted to be a prison <laughs> bitch. That's what it is. The, um, You've never been to prison, have you? Either no, never. Which is, which is so surprising. <laughs> Look, it says you. that. <laughs> I, do, I feel know, like you've heard me do that. I feel like when we hang out and we're sitting at a table, people like. They met in prison. Yeah. <laughs> that guy with the long hair was definitely his <laughs> fucking part of in prison. We met in a cell and you were like, come on, baby. And I'm like, okay. It's, it's, it's funny when I'm on stage. Okay, you've daddy. Heard me, you've heard me do that. When I go on stage, I go, I've never been locked up. And everybody applauds. And I'm like, <laughs> fuck you. Like, look, all that means is you're really saying this guy should have been in prison. Yeah, so, you know, but uh, yeah, I've never been. I mean, I'm lucky. Not because I haven't done horrible criminal things. It's just that I run. After I do them, <laughs> you just get you escape, <laughs> man. You escape. Admire, That's right. You don't get caught. Oh, fuck I'm, off. You I, never run. Don't get I, I run like a scared white woman when I do shit. <laughs> like I beat a, ah. I beat a guy up in the street and then ran like he beat me up. Yeah. You know? And then people go, "Wait, well, he clearly didn't." <laughs> That's do anything. a smart thing to do, right? Like, <laughs> why you don't you know, like, be at the scene of the crime, just like you did your thing. And then you know? you're out of there. I, exactly. And I'm gone. I, and then I don't even take my car. Like I'll jump in a cab and go, so they can't see my plate. Nothing. I'll just yeah. I'm gone and I'll come back Step like a on day it. later. Yeah. Take notes, Hang on a sec, hang on a sec. Wait, That's you're revolutionizing my life. You're saying a black man can get a cab in New York City. Yeah, sometimes. Stop it. Sometimes it's That's changing. when it comes into play that you don't look like a black man. Yeah, that yeah that's when I'm you're like, like oh. all right, at least I can get a cab. I'm a Navajo, so whatever. Until he gets in. Dante, yeah. I love that you're like, yeah, I get in a cab and just ride away. Like, they don't know it's your car. You're... Face is on the side. Well, of it. now, yeah. now, I mean, okay. yeah, but I mean, well, this probably needs some back. We need a little, yeah, bit, yeah, of, uh, you little bit of information for the viewers. So, Dante has one of. Uh, how do I describe your car? It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> it's, like, it's like you know, like Batman has the Batmobile, and you see that shit, yeah. and you're like, that's pretty fucking sweet. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Uh, Dante has the Dante Mobile. The yeah. da- do you have a name yeah. for it? Uh, no, not really. The 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 Nero it's Mobile. Yeah, it says Nero on the side. It's it got says my Nero on the face. side. It has my face on the side. Dude. Of it. It has his face in leather on the insides, <laughs> on the on the, on the headrest head and stuff. <laughs> he had like these, yes. and it's 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 ridic- It is a fucking. It's a Batmobile. It's like well, it's a it's a truck. it's a Jeep. Jeep. Right. Okay. But I have a yeah. I have a five and a half inch lift. I have thirty seven inch tires on it. I have. Uh, Seven thousand dollars worth of lights on it, just Ooh. halogens. Wow! And, and, and this guy's not a dang. drug dealer. Can you believe that? <laughs> and what's the uh, and the fucking the that air is horn. sick. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Oh. Like, yeah, the uh, what's the the fucking horn is like one of those. I have a train horn. Here's a train horn. So like when he presses the like, 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 when he pre- like ah. you know when you see the diesels, right? And, they go, and, it, and it literally. I have a tank, like an air tank, under mounted under the car. When you hit it, it literally like. Well, see, I had a, a loud horn before, and then I got this horn, and I was like, yeah, they were like, this is really loud, and I was like, yeah, put it in, put it in, and then when I first hit it, I was like, oh, this might be too much. You're like, right? whoa. Like, I feel, like, you can feel, right, Jeff, you can feel it in your- It's fucking mm-hmm. ridiculous. Like, if it's, I could kill an old lady with the horn. Do, like, I, do alarms go off anytime you use yes. it? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, every yeah, time. Yeah, absolutely. It's but one of those, feel it's a legit it. diesel train yeah. air horn. Yeah. It's, oh, it's nice. one of those ones that, like, you should either be a redneck yeah. Or just, or like, but you're ready for the apocalypse. Yeah, I'm it's, ready. It's a car I'm that's like, oh, I'm ready for the apocalypse. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I feel like that's what you're training for. Do you like, uh, do you like car games? Then you've got this ridiculous car. I don't I really, see. I don't really take car games. I, no. I feel like GTA would be up your alley. You got third person. Yeah. You got the cars. Oh, yeah. Everything over there is like. Well, it's just like I, my car. My car is literally like a car game. 
when you yeah, 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 when you get so in. It's yeah. It's like, why don't, why don't I want to play this? Like, I'll just so, go drive my car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I got, we, when we first, um, when I did your podcast, The Bates yeah. Phillips Show, um, I remember afterwards we jumped in the car and we went to get some food. When we go to Cat's Deli or something, yeah, was yeah, it that yeah, day? Yeah, yeah. We went to get some, uh, get a sandwich and we were riding around the city listening, bumping some, uh, maybe Denmark Mo- Vessi, Mo- Denmark Vessi, or Mo- Mob D. I was reminiscing yeah, about Mob D. We picked up, played some of that. Bit of Wu Tang, but also you introduced me, I think, to Denmark Vesey that yes, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were bumping all this fucking hip hop around the city, and I was sat and I was like, I feel so white. <laughs> 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 it was so, it was ridiculous, but it was great, man. Yeah, it was great. I was yeah, um, yeah I felt yeah, I felt like man. I was down. I did feel like everyone was staring at me, just like, what, why is he in that car? What's yeah, the, but he has, has he been kidnapped? Like, What's happening? <laughs> like, but don't me. sleep on, on 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 Jeff. Jeff knows lyrics though. Like, I he do know spit yeah. lyrics. Oh, like, I spit hot fire on my Twitch channel yeah, all the time, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got like a, I mean, it, not hot fire, like like lukewarm, lukewarm, <laughs> lukewarm, <laughs> lukewarm scorch. Uh, like there you go. A little, a little, like a carpet burn, like a, like a like a hot rock like, burn, like an uh, Indian burn, like an Indian, a Chinese burn on the wrist. <laughs> that's what I'm like. Yeah. Can you say Chinese burn anymore? Is that like politically incorrect? I'm- I don't know. That's a good question. Like, that's, that's what you, what you, that's what you guys call it. Arm, yeah, right? that's what you call it. it, 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 it we call it, it Indian burn. burn. So a Chinese yeah. burn in England was when you grab someone's wrist with and both then, hands and you twist in opposite direction and it really fucking hurts. You go, yeah. ah, yeah, Chinese that's burn. Indian like burn that. over here, oh, man. Oh, it's Indian yeah. burn over here. We call it Indian burn. I was wondering, like... How weird is that? Why do you guys associate that with Indians instead of with Chinese? I don't know what's wrong with you. It's not Chinese. That's what it is. It doesn't hurt anyone else burn and, like, you're good to go. But if you think about the movement, it feels more like a martial arts move. You know what I mean? Like a bit of no, like keto, like you're doing something like that. When we do it, it's you, one goes clockwise, yeah. one goes, oh, it's the yeah, same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly the same thing. Uh. But, but I, I feel like that's that would be... if. <laughs> This is such we a gotta ridiculous. Know. We gotta break What's this down. We gotta break this down. If we heard an Indian I mean, person here and a Chinese person here, who feels <laughs> more like they're gonna grab your wrist and fucking twist it? But the not, Chinese but dude, not, man. Because he's gonna be ninja, like, bam, yeah. I'm a fucking. Kung fu. I'm gonna yeah. kung fu the shit out of you. Whereas, like, the Indian guy's gonna be like, oh, where do you need to go in the city? Well, I think it's more like well, Indian as a Native not American. That Indian, it's. Yeah, Native, yeah, Native American, American Indian. Indians. Oh, is that why? Yeah. yeah, like start campfires, that kind of thing. That's yeah. why I think where that originates from. That's even weirder. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Surely it would be like, the, like I don't know, Indian arrow. I or never something like that. thought I mean, of it. I don't know, it's crazy. As like a race thing. I don't know. I... Well, you know, we, you, I don't know if you had that, when we were kids, like we had that, uh, the Chinese finger. Yeah, the finger those traps. Oh, finger traps. Yeah, 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 yeah I had yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, yeah, those fucking things. You'd be like, I love yeah, those, yeah. man. Get the yeah. fuck out of this, I'm man. Stuck. You know what you can do? If you get together with a couple of your boys, you can use those and just stick them on the end of your, your, your things and then just, like, have a tug of war. Dude. What if you get excited you while could. you have them on, though? <laughs> well, even, yeah, it feels even better. You're gonna better. win. <laughs> you're gonna win. Just like and then you just both the lean backwards like that. It's <laughs> oh. beautiful. It's like an upside down Eiffel Tower. <laughs> and then whoever falls first wins. Whoever falls I think, I think, wins. I think, I think you both yeah, because obviously point. your dick has know, got man. more power. So you're pulling them back. Boom! You're like pu- you pull yourself out. That, the, the you'd big. have to be like in the same weight class though. We need yeah, like we need strict yeah. rules yeah, you here. You and Dante could go. Dante, I don't. <laughs> I would just pull like, him God on me. Damn. And that would be worse, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, yeah. So video games. Um, <laughs> That should be a game. That should be a game. There we let's, go. Let's you know what? Sure. I, I lost my shit playing Clash of Clans for a little while. Oh, dude, so many people it's did. So, well, you know, wow. still is that that mobile game? That. There's mm-hmm. people who stream it. That's man. that mobile game, right? It is. Yeah. So okay. It's a bit like Hearthstone in the sense that you know you're kind of going head to head against other players. You have like, a, in fact, it's very much like uh, there's an, a similarity to new Elder Scrolls Legends in the sense that you have these two. Um, these two battlefields that you yeah. play against and you lay out your characters on either side and you're effectively trying to pit yourself against their characters so you get to drop them turn-based against each other. Yeah. Yeah, but the fucked up thing is that you go to sleep and you wake up and then somebody has destroyed your town. Oh, so you leave it overnight. Yeah, oh. like they can attack you. And so there'll be some guy from, from, from China will have just... Just beat like the shit out of my town. You Chinese it's burned your town day. to the ground. Yeah. And then you, but you'll see because his name will be in, in Chinese letters. Yeah. And then you'll be like, what the fuck, fuck you, Shang Chao? So what happens is you're, you're constantly building up your defenses and you're creating characters. Okay. That you, that's how you, you can end up losing so much money because 
you either have to wait for time or you to, have to, to buy or replenish you, your or you, troops or you buy it and every morning I would get up and I would first thing I would do was look at this thing and go and buy some fucking well, it's shit it's almost like the developers want you to spend money on the <laughs> game or something <laughs> they're like, good though like, crazy. it's those bastards I take it so personally when someone like <laughs> you know, attacks one of yeah, those yeah, games yeah, like yeah. screw this guy I'm gonna spend the 10 bucks in each to go get like wreck this guy uh-huh. and then you they, they want you to get mad they'll tell you who who attacked you and Dante you just go around his fucking house and knock on the door and be like motherfucker stop fucking <laughs> and then you run down the street. Name, <laughs> I just flew halfway around the world. He's like, oh, I'm not like I, the amount of money you're gonna you gonna spend on the game. You might as well just buy yeah. a plane ticket to China. Oh God, it had me. I was spending so much money. I've just imagined some fucking 11 year old Chinese kids opening the door up <laughs> and I'm there to his Stop fucking house. <laughs> I got and a joke. Stood on. there. Bah, bah. Shit. I used to spend like a hundred dollars sometimes. No, he's yeah, like man. a he's or like a black belt ninja. I, I know the feeling. Yeah, yeah, dude. Like I did the same thing with um with uh what was it um Camelot uh the Camelot. the night night Camelot yeah. um there was uh it was one of those you know mobile games mm-hmm. and it was definitely uh it was like pay to play really and I spent. Five hundred pounds over the course uh, of me playing it for yeah. a couple of months. Ooh, yeah. I was very depressed, Ooh. very no, depressed at the time. Dude, man, I, <laughs> and it was what was making me something. remote. Yeah, that's I had that game that um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh uh, no, that, that war no, game that's was, that's like, the war one. Yeah, yeah right, a, but he, he it's still pay to play. Come and take me on. Let's play. That fucking guy, man, he's had like such a charmed life. If you think about it, he got famous. For lifting shit, yeah. uh-huh. that's what he got famous it. for. Doing he steroids and then lifting and shit. And he doesn't even like. Yeah. I was watching Bill Burr yesterday. Oh yeah, um, he's bait on him. He's this Bill Burr, it. fucking. Yeah. He's, there's this thing online. This we're going off topic again on video games. I'm sorry, but it's kind of it's video game related. Yeah. Bill Burr is doing this thing called um uh, called City Tours, and they I don't know when they, he did them. A few of them were. Dude, have you been good. watching them? I, I've only seen the one of I think Santa Monica or, or uh, Santa Monica one is. Fucking hilarious, right? yeah. And so is the um, New York City one. I've only watched two, but I'm going to keep watching them. They're about yeah. 20 minutes long each. Episodes of him basically doing a tour around the city. It's him just driving around, being Bill Burr, being fucking right. miserable. Just like, look at this fucking guy over here. Look at this guy fucking guy over here. You know, oh <laughs> fucking piece. Ah, of Jesus, that's, that was a really good hot dog. You know what? Fuck the Surgeon General. I like a hot dog. <laughs> you know, that's a fuck. I'm a fucking winner. I had a hot dog for breakfast. That's a fucking. Win- that's not a bad Bill Burr. I'm that like, is pretty good. Um, yeah. Anyway. And then he's talking about Arnold Schwarzenegger. And this fucking guy, he can't, he, he can't even understand. He doesn't even speak English. What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> he's famous for lifting stuff. And then he's had the fuck. He's had such a charm life. You know, of course he fucked that. Of course he fucked that maid. Think about it. He got famous for lifting stuff. Uh-huh. Then he becomes one of the most famous fucking actors in the whole of the 80s. For what? And he can, you can't even understand. <laughs> he's got a career. And then he becomes fucking governor. <laughs> fucking governor. He doesn't even know how to govern his own fucking shoelaces clothes. Yeah. And then he's like, of course I'm going to fuck my maid. Who's going to pick up on it? No, no, no one's noticed anything I've done shitty in the do last fucking 30 yeah. years. I can do anything I want. <laughs> That was my Bill Burr. Oh, there you go. Really I'm available bravo, for the children's bravo, bravo, <laughs> Thanks, man. Bravo. I really enjoyed doing Bill Burr. I didn't know I could do a Bostonian accent. Yeah. Oh, hey, this guy. Hey, guy. Hey, mm-hmm. guy. All right, okay. He's good. Uh, hey, guy. I should have ended on the little applause you gave me. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good stop. <laughs> Fuck. Point, tried to no, OD. Wait, no, I sometimes an extra. encore is good, though. We could. I did an encore, and it just didn't get the reception. <laughs> <Encore's like laughs> Thanks for being honest, though, guys. I need to be brought down to size every now and then. Um, yeah, so fucking those mobile games. See, the problem fucking with mobile, mobile games, I feel games, like... Man. You know what, though? It's a, it's it's. I don't think mobile games are a bad uh, thing. Uh, don't get me yeah. wrong. The pay-to-play yeah. element annoys gamers because yeah. you're like, we're yeah. spending so much money on shit on games anyway, the idea of introducing pay to play. But I think it's good for the industry as a whole because it's bringing more people into gaming. Yeah, but gaming. you know what's, cra- yeah, what's crazy? What's crazy to me is that we, p- playing games, you wait for, we've waited for things to be so lifelike and so controllable, like to the, the level of gaming now in terms of you look at even yeah, the, the backgrounds. the visuals and the And fucking. then they shit on you. Then people are running around playing Pokemon Go and, and, and pay for play game that are really horrible graphics, horrible gameplay, but it's the, the psychological thing of it, of just waking up and you, somebody just bombs. But Pokemon Go, yeah. man, Swift, you fucking love that. Dude, I'm still yeah. on it, man. I'm still Bro, on it hard. You play yeah. every day, right? Uh, I try to, yeah. What are you now, level what? I'm still level 25, really close to 26. I just saw a level 35 the other day, and I was like, what? how fucking wow. much has that guy put into his fucking game? And he yeah. must have, like, just given every up his day. job and just yeah. every day gone out. Every I day. I respect for that, man. Dedication. Really? I yeah, have... dude, because that takes so much dedication. You'd be like... But do you know what? I, have, I don't have respect for that. 
What he, because he I feel like the very best, dude. Why? Why is that he not wants okay? To be but the like, very best. best. <laughs> <laughs> the best. Yeah, no one ever was. <laughs> <laughs> he just listens to that shit in his headphones. Like runs around dressed as Zach Casham. Fucking flicking his phone and being the best, man. You have never, I've never seen you more animated <laughs> about anything. This in my coffee, life. dude, is it's getting it's fucking good, man. Dude, I saw an MMA dude. But you know what's the good? other day knock a guy out? Yeah. Ran to his coach, put a put a Pokemon hat on, and showed oh, up like, awesome. the thing and rolled the fucking thing at, at the, the guy, guy who while knocked he out. was knocked out. <laughs> Kind of, it was pretty messed up. But it's I was like, oh, that's, that's fucking, fucking awesome. Hilarious. I hope you got money from Pokemon Go for that. Oh, because I think he just that for fun. Put the hat on, he was like, yeah, Pokemon like, Go. Yeah. And he mm-hmm. rolled it out. Pokemon, out. catch him. I was like, pass on the floor. Get for me there it is. Did you find here it is? Oh, my oh God. God. This Watch is ridiculous. This he elbows oh him in the face, breaks his, he breaks his fucking Dude, his the eyes. The guy is trying to get it out as quickly look, as he can. Now, look at this. Watch. He got the hat. He takes his Pokeball. Oh, my God. Watch the stance at the end that he makes. Watch this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Breaks the pose. What man. a dick, though. What a dick. <laughs> the dude's up. eye socket. Oh, he broke his break. eye socket with a knee, too. Are you serious? Yeah, that's wow. why the dude is just laying on the ground in pain. That's what happens if you duck an MMA fight. Yeah. That's MMA the ultimate fight. BM, dude. That is yeah, the yeah, yeah, ultimate is. <laughs> bad manners right there. MMA Pokemon. <laughs> hey, but, man. I mean, good here's, fight. Here's no. the thing, like, you say that the graphics are terrible. But I mean, they're, they're kind of true to the cartoon a bit. You know, they've three dimensionalized the I'm character saying, a little bit. But how here's the long thing. have we waited to, for things to get? But it doesn't. So this is the joy of fucking yeah. video games, bro. Yeah. It's, you, you have some games. Yeah. The artwork is so incredible. You right. feel like you're looking at a mind blowing landscape. You're, yeah. That moment you had in Bioshock Infinite when we go to the lighthouses and it's the infinite lighthouses and the sunset is coming Dude. down. And it's just like this is this is a piece of art. You know, and then other games, and also yeah. like, I remember when I played the the first. Do you remember the first Killzone on the PS4? It was the first game that came out with the PS4, mm-hmm. Killzone Three, I think. And yeah, that was right. I, right? Yeah, yeah. So it was one of the launch games, right? Yeah, it was one of the launch games. And I remember when that came out, there was a moment where a sh- you get on a ship and it flies over this kind of da- this big wall. It's like almost like a dam that's separating the populace from you know the outside. Right. Well, and you get in that ship and it just fucking rises up and you see this. Expanse in front of you, and dude, I swear to God, like I, I was just—it made me feel like romantic, like my heart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, I got almost a bit tearful because I was like, this is genuinely <laughs> so fucking beautiful. <clears throat> the, the level of detail of this artwork is yeah. mind blowing. But then that's the joy of video games because Enter the Gungeon, fucking eight bit, low yeah. res, yeah. but it's it's beautiful because it's, it's reminiscent. It's right. you know? yeah. yeah. And, and also, here's the thing, Pokemon Go, man. I'm, I'm never gonna slag off Pokemon Go. I was angry with the servers for a while. I remember. But I was livid, but because I wanted to play it so bad and it was fucking up all the time. Yeah. But here's the thing, it has brought so many fucking people together. Yeah. And that's yeah. that. It, fuck, man. We need yeah. that right now. Yeah. You're right. You know You're what right. was his? Uh, Scroobius Pip. Does anyone like Scroobius Pip? Do you know who he is? Who's that? He's a musician from the UK, right? Like a rapper, and he does. He's done some uh, great song called "Thou Shalt Not." Where he rapper from the UK. Of course, we've heard of him. Like a, a rapper. Po- he's actually a poet. It's but he okay, goes yeah. over music. <laughs> Dan Lesac and Scroobius Pip. They do a lot of stuff together. Yeah. Uh, Dan Lesac streams actually on Twitch, and um, he did a fucking conversation about it, like just a one-minute video. You should watch it. Scroobius Pip on Pokemon Go. But he's basically talking about, hey, look, you, you, what, you're going to spend all your time like hating on this fucking game, having a go about it, a lot of people. He goes, dude, it's one of the fucking, one of the few things in the world right now that is together. bringing people together yeah. as opposed to separating us. Right now, the whole world is That's focused on, I'm getting a bit political, sorry. Yeah. It's like focused on segregation. Yeah, you're right, black, man. I'm white, yeah. we can't be fucking friends. You're rich, you're poor, you can't fucking get along with each yeah. other. You vote this way, you vote that way, you shouldn't ever be able to have a conversation. It's all about how we have to fucking hate well, each other. Let's be honest, if I'm a level 35, I'm not fucking with you. No. <laughs> that guy's the best, man. That's why he's 35, dude. You never know, though, because he. I bet that fucking level 35 is stood by that fucking gym, and if someone goes, oh, you're playing Pokemon, he's like, yeah, man, no, I just, yeah, I just took the gym. And you're like, what, you're the level 35? And he's like, yeah, I'm pretty yeah. Yeah. And for him, it's like a fucking best yeah, day of his life, right, man. Yeah. And yeah. someone's going, dude, that's fucking awesome. You know, because the cool. kind of people who are playing this are celebrating each other's successes. Yeah. Um, I think that's fucking cool, man. Yeah, if you go to yeah. Central Park or anywhere in New York, as Scroobius Pip said, a ton of people. If yeah. you don't like it, you can Pokemon go fuck yourself. And yeah. I think that's like a, you know, that's like a, that's a good line. I feel that like I'm gonna break somebody's eye socket and and, uh, and then stick do, a hat on. <laughs> it's a different <laughs> game. You don't have to hurt oh, someone to sorry, play it, Dante. <laughs> We're gonna download it for you on your fucking phone. It's You're not gonna one be, of those games where me. you have to you have to spend money either. I, I feel like. 
you can. Right. You, you can, but, but it's, it's not Swift, one of those games right. where at any point. Swift, you, uh, you, how much money have you spent on the game so far? Be honest. Two hundred. Oh, that's yeah, not that bad. That's I not, expected not more than that. But yeah, like, I spent forty bucks so far that's, on that's that game. All right. Yeah, I mean, buying some lucky eggs mostly. Yeah, yeah. lucky eggs and incubators is my like my strategy. Yeah. That's his shit, right? Well, I guess down. you guys would know better. I haven't played it to no- enough to like ever feel like. Okay, no maybe I should buy or yeah, I'm getting. What level are you? Point. You can do just fine. I'm like yeah, level like, four or five. Oh, okay, yeah, you suck. Had me was giving to suck me <laughs> yeah, in oh, too, and I was like, I could see me doing this because I did. I I put about a th- I put, spent about a thousand dollars on fucking Clash of Clans. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I just just periodic. Do you feel like it was worth it right now? No. In retrospect, see, no. I, I, no. I, bet you, I feel I bet like you most people like, don't. So yeah. that's the thing about those games. Yeah, I don't. I don't. That's feel reflection, though, because at the time it made you feel happy, right? You had fun with it, didn't no, you? No, I was pissed. Like I was, like you see? wake up and your shit is fucking wrecked, and all of your fucking ogres are gone. They make this game, and then you, games like this, to do that. Yes, specifically. You, so you spend the money because you're pissed. Uh huh. And your shit. It, it, it was like it's I was psychological. So actually, man. it brought you yeah, I would annoyance, fucking, misery. I, fuck. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I need the, revenge. Actually, like, that's a good thing about, about Pokemon. That. You kind of it's it's more about you try. Literally, it's about your success, getting those medals, yeah. catching Pokemon, evolving Pokemon, as opposed to the battle element. That's yeah. been the bit that I think most people have slagged off about. It, and I know that I've said ah, the battle element is a bit shit. Right. But actually, right. by making that almost like not a major feature of it, it's really it's, it's about that's a great point. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, you're not annoyed about that. Yeah, I was pissed. Dude. I remember uh, yeah, really the, the, the creators of South You should Park. go down to the fucking Clash of Clans HQ, <laughs> we'll that, right. knock on the door. I just want to see Dante. Just You could be the like Punisher a, of dress, video games. I want to dress like an ogre. You know, Justice. Like an ogre or a dude. There's a Mr. T that rides pigs. That he just rides in on a pig. I could see you as William Fisk, but from the film. Remember the <laughs> film version? Who was that big giant dude the play, oh, who passed away? Uh, Great uh, actor. Uh, Dark What's Phil Michael Clark Duncan. Michael Clark Duncan, the yeah. guy who played um, it was in the Green Mile as well. Yeah, yeah. He used yeah. to be you know he used to be a bouncer for fucking he Biggie. Played, uh, he was a bouncer, your private security was a big He played Kingpin. Uh, he played Kingpin in, in as well. Movie with That's it, yeah. yeah. William Fisk, yeah. yeah. Wow. Wilson Brilliant. Fisk. Yeah. William Fisk. Yeah. The fuck is this guy? Yes. Sorry, guys. I apologize to all the comic book geeks out there. How dare <laughs> I? Oh, that right. guy. Yeah. Oh, my God. Jeff I, Leach. I can't wait to see Darth Vader in the new Star Trek movie. That's going to be good, man. Yeah. May the right. force be with May you. May the force be with you. <laughs> oh, shit. Love that. Yeah. On mobile games, I remember Matt Stone and uh, Trey Parker, the guys who yeah. made South, South Park. Guys. I've yeah. heard of them. I've heard of them. Uh, they made an amazing game. As you, you guys have played The Stick of Truth, right? They're coming yep. out with that new game. Yeah. Uh, but before the they made called, that... What's the new one called that's coming out? The Fractured Butthole. Nice. Yeah. Uh, nice little title there. They, When they were originally like looking for somebody to make their game, I remember reading that in their talks with these different developers, people were trying to pitch a mobile game to them. And they were like, okay, and this is how we can make this part so people spend money on this and we make it free to play and then and they, they spend this. Like, no. And they were like... All you're talking to us about is is how to extract more money from these people. Like, yeah. fuck you. Right. You know, right, right. we're gonna make a game like this. And I think they even kind of mentioned that in the the stick of truth, it never ended up being 100 percent what they thought and hoped it, to it be. would be. Uh, but I remember seeing more interviews not saying dick like, jokes. not enough dick jokes. <laughs> Uh, I still haven't played that game. Oh, oh you, got, you gotta play don't, it. Don't spoiler, not dick, dick, dick oh, jokes. Park, I, was, like, I had such game. high expectations oh, yeah. for tons yeah, of dick really, jokes, really Jeff. Really well wow. <laughs> it's tons of dick I jokes. It was really good. Oh, okay, yeah. there we go. You like, you like, you guys like, you like South Park. You gotta play it, man. Stick it true. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's a fun story. It's fucking ridiculous. It's like an episode. You're in an episode of South Park, which is great. Yeah, but I love hearing those guys just call out. Those devs who spe- specifically were just like, okay. And now you know what, though? That's easy to do when you're fucking multi-millionaires so many times over. <laughs> like, uh, you know uh, what? We don't want extra money, man. We just want to make a game for the fans. <laughs> Fuck you. Of course you do. Because every day you get to lay on a money bed well, and just because, fucking I mean, wipe your ass with $100 bills. Content. If their content like was shit and then they were making money, then it would be easier. But yeah. like, they, they make good stuff. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Fucking Matt. I, like you guys, <laughs> I, I played Marvel Marvel Champions until mm-hmm. I started having to pay, spend money, and I was like, I could. You see, sent. You were able to stop I, yourself, yeah, man, because of, of the Clash of Clans. Oh, I was there like, we you, go. You get I'm some people can't. That, dude. I started 
getting in that place. So, mm-hmm. ah, like, mm-hmm. Let me throw another game at you. So I just started playing the beta of uh, Elder Scrolls Legends. Mm-hmm. Right. New Yo, card game. So it's, it's the card game. It's like in the same way that World of Warcraft yeah. dished out Hearthstone okay. as their card game. This is the card game for ESO, you know, for Elder Scrolls. Similar vibe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hearthstone it's characters much. from it. It's very similar to Hearthstone and it has elements of the Clash and Clans. Like I say, these sort of dual. Mm-hmm. You, you play across two battlefields. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it's only one battlefield, but most of the time it's like two lanes to fight against, which mm. adds another element. Oh, that's kind of cool. But it's going to be paid to play in the sense that you know, it's a free to play, sorry. Right. Free to yeah, play. Yeah, yeah. But it is pay to play in the right. sense that you if you want to buy packs and stuff like that, you can yeah, do yeah. that. I think okay. it's like sixty packs are seventy bucks, you know, mm. that kind of vibe. Um but it's got so many different elements to Hearthstone. I feel like it's an adult it's a more adult version of the kids game that is Hearthstone. And I don't think that when you play World of Warcraft, which I haven't done, but I've right. seen gameplay of it, and you play uh, Elder Scrolls online or any Elder Scrolls games I, I, I do, do, would you say that like Elder Scrolls is a more adult fucking thing? Because I think they're quite similar in their style and in terms of the stories. There's not like a, a more childish element to a World of Warcraft, you, is th- there? Isn't World of Warcraft like immediate? Like the interaction is more immediate than. I mean, for the, for the card games, I haven't tried out the new card game, but I mean, like World of Warcraft, like. Versus like Elder Scrolls. I mean, they're kind of different experiences, right? Like, well, Warcraft, see, I've only like, ever played Elder Scrolls games, right? And don't get me wrong, there's like a hell of a lot of shit going on there. You can you can mm-hmm. end up you have choosing different paths. You can end up making love to different people. You know, yeah. Morgana the Witch always gets it from me because you know <laughs> that that bitch is fucking she's hot and you're, she's you're a hot you know, bitch. and she's like she's gonna do some shit in the future. Yeah, yeah. but um, it's also it, it does feel worse. It's like an uh, you know there's a lot of adult themes in it mm. right. I didn't think World of Warcraft was any less adult but the game the card game Hearthstone feels very like cartoony you know very kiddy right the, the animation like the well they did come out five visually... six years ago didn't yeah. it like fucking five six mm-hmm. years ago is when it came out whereas this game is right now maybe they just went oh well let's make one for the adults who play the game right I feel like they had to to make it distinct they didn't, oh, yeah, they, you know, as as because people are going to draw the comparison there. So any chance possible where they could make it their own, more their own, they had to go for that. Now I haven't seen it, but you're saying that it, it's it does look game, visually man. different. And yeah. It plays pretty game. well. It plays really well. I think you is know, it open beta, beta or did you get a? Did you get? No, a, it's, you get a key. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, nice. But it's it's like it's. Um, I, I don't know, man. I, I feel like it's a game that you don't. It didn't feel in the beta playthrough that you had to spend money on it to enjoy it. Mm. Whereas with Hearthstone, it's like. I know who's going to win at Hearthstone is you know our buddy Raynad who goes on and as soon as a new fucking uh, bit of DLC or a new th- a new deck comes out he goes in and drops like a couple of thousand oh, bucks and buy, or he buys six hundred packs or uh-huh. whatever or two thousand packs and sits there and opens them all yeah. has every single legendary in the game and every single fucking golden card of every mm. single thing and then he builds like decks and, yeah. and don't get me wrong there's like there's a huge amount of skill in working out what those meta decks are and trying to come come against those but that, well, I don't that, know man yeah. this game just felt a lot more like fun shit happens like your cards evolve Whoa. So, which doesn't happen in Hearthstone so right. you might have you might have like a 3-4 minion and mm-hmm. then after a period of time that card levels up if it's on the if it's on the playing field for a long enough no, time, just, or it just when just you level up, some Whoa. cards level just up. The game. And oh. then, yeah, and it, you have to be playing with that deck, but but then you—that's kind of cool. Well, it's amazing because then it, it branches out in two different ways. And so then you, you can, can pick. Get, you can pick which oh, one, what it right. levels up to. Yeah. That's pretty fun. That, that is that's interesting. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they're still, I mean, they're obviously Pokemon. still balanced. You got it. Basically, it's like evolving shit. I feel like they've taken the best elements of Evol- a few <laughs> games. Yeah. They've taken the ev- evolution of, of, of characters. You yeah. Know? They've taken Clash of Clans, like the dual battlefield yeah. sort of thing. They've taken a lot of Hearthstone. The only thing that annoyed me is they use a lot of Hearthstone voice actors, I could tell. Oh. Some of the characters. And that fucked me off, man. Because like, if you're going to make a, your own game, don't use any actors. Don't. Or maybe I'm, maybe I'm, a liar. Maybe the the voice I was hearing I remembered because I heard them in ESO. It could uh, be. Okay. That could be it. Anyway. That would have been really dumb for them to be like, yo, and then know, we'll bring you, in the Hearthstone people. Yeah. You know the business. If you're a voiceover actor, they use the same people. They you know why I'm annoyed, Dante? Because they didn't use me. That's the <laughs> only reason. <laughs> that's, 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 oh. I'm angry. One of the fuck. It should that be me. Yeah. You know, it should be me. Maybe it next expansion be. pack, dude. You know? Yeah. Figure out how to get you yeah, in there. Yeah, dude. I've got to fucking get in there. I know a girl at Bethesda. I'm going to say, listen. Hello. I was going to say I'll give her some sexual favors, but I think she's into chicks, so. 
Your hair's long. <laughs> yeah. Role play from behind. Moment, yeah. Anyway, this is a good game. It's worth checking out. I think yeah. you should get into it. You got any new games? Anything like that's going on? Dude, oh. I played some cool games oh, yesterday. Oh, oh, go for it, man. I played Journey, oh, which awesome is a couple game. years old. Uh, and then I played Abzu, which you guys underwater maybe have never heard of, but that just came out yesterday. Like, we were, you were talking earlier about visually striking games that yeah. are like art. That's exactly what What's these games called? are. The first one uh, was called Journey. And that came out in like 2012. Right. Journey, I know that game. What well, the big the scarf in, the, in like the desert? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Fly, yeah. It's like a red scarf is flying yep. behind you a bit. Yeah, yeah. I beat both of them yesterday. They're yeah, really like a couple. They're a couple hours uh, long, and and I mean, the the art and and the sound. It's just one of those things where you're just blown away the whole time. It's it's one of those experiences that is just amazing. Nice. You were talking about like it hitting home and and like really being did you cry? Amazing. I held, I, I held, I, I went like this. There was some dust in my eye, maybe oh. for a little bit, and, uh, but it was fine. Uh, but no, it, it was definitely one of those games that I feel like is a must experience game. And, and the story was pretty cool. Journey, the first one. It's kind of like Wall E at the beginning when there's no dialogue. Like, there's no dialogue in these games. Nope. So it's, it's kind of awesome to just progress through and have this this world kind of unfold before you the first one is What's is this journey up the shadow? mountain What's the one where it's all shadow where it's like a, and that was like a little indie game oh uh, like that. limbo limbo yeah limbo so like that. that doesn't have much like kind it just of, has sounds in it doesn't it yeah. like, kind of yeah it, it gave a similar vibe like that that's that's like side scroller this is like much more beautiful okay. like like when you're in this game you're looking at it and you are thinking this is this is like a an almost an art piece, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. So in Journey, all of a sudden, uh, this other character came up, and I was like, "Oh, look at this! There's like a, that's an AI or something." And then, but it was behaving very realistically. It doesn't tell you anything. Uh, and I, the whole time, I was just like, "Is this person real?" Like you can push a button that that kind of sends out a, a little beam outside of yourself to like activate these different banners and give your scarf power that allows you to fly a little bit. And I would like tap it and be like, bow, bow. and then he would be like. Bow, bow, bow. And I was just like, I was nice. like, I was like, is this? And it was playing tricks with me because I was like, is it human or is it AI? And Chat was doing a great job, like not telling me. Right. And at the very end of the game, it says companions, and then it says like their actual gamer tags. And I was like, they were real. <laughs> That's oh my great. god! But like, there's this really crazy part where you're walking up the mountain and it's really cold, and you have to like stay close together and keep on sending out that beam to like keep your scarf powered up and there's these big scary uh like snake metal monsters like flying around in the sky and it was just really awesome nice. it was just like nothing I'd, I'd ever played before and that was journey which got i think a bunch of like game of the year sure. nominations sure. and stuff and then this abzu just came out yesterday and it's like all underwater Beautiful, made by like, the same, made, made by the same, by the same art uh, director and the same music oh, wow. composer. So, okay. um, you know, to play both in one day was like amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's one of those things that I don't know if I, I like. I'll probably go back like in a couple years and play it again. You know, but it was one of those things where it was just, it was, it was amazing. It was amazing. Nice. Highly, highly recommend it. Abzu just came out. It was like fifteen bucks. So it's one of those things where you're not going to drop 60 bucks. It's not like you're going to get oh, wow. 10, 11, 12, you know. I played it, I beat it in like five hours. Is Abzu, do you have to go and collect stuff from a C... Oh, no, no, it's a different game. I saw someone playing, a, I can't remember if it was Zeke Subnautica, or Elowine or something. Maybe? Yeah, maybe where Subnautica, he was going you go picking down. up bits of shit from the floor and then you take it back up into mm -hmm, your shit That's to Subnautica. I haven't played that. I that looks that super cool. Not. It looks Seems super neat. cool. But this is more of like a... Like a visual, yeah, it looks artistic pretty fucking beautiful, experience. man. On the video we're yeah. watching now. Um, I tell you what, talking about games and about stories about games, it's time we did a little bit of a, a Swift quiz. There's yeah. only one man who can throw it at Let's have the Swift quiz. The Swift quiz. <laughs> time to test you, Dante. Okay. Let's right. see how how what your powers Swift. of reasoning are. Right. All right. I'm gonna give you all of you guys three stories. You got to pick out the fake one. Okay. All right. So let's kick it off. First story. So, um, there have been these sites when Pokemon Go came out where you can go to the web, uh, browser and find out exactly where Pokemon is. Recently, though, the guys in Niantic, the guys who run Pokemon Go, have been like taking these sites down, going like you break our terms of service, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. serving legal documents. And so you figure all these guys who have done these sites are now kind of like, you know, out of luck with their kind of project, except for one site. Ooh. So you have a site called Pokefinder.com. Folks watching, go check it out. They 
can't do that anymore, but they had a side service where they would offer a business, like they would manage their Pokestop for them. Basically, always keep it kind of like the module on. So you can turn a mo you can put a module on a Pokestop where people can find Pokemon, and you see a little confetti, and more Pokemon appear there. And the idea is that if that's there, more Pokemon players will come to that area and potentially give them more service. Mm -hmm. So their service is like, hey, business, you have a Pokestop near you. We'll manage this for you. Tell us your business hours or where you want people to come, and we'll keep that Pokestop going. You don't need to worry about it, and your sales will go up. So like that's their side business. So they're going to okay. do both. So yeah, pretty cool kind of Whoa. like side opportunity that they've okay. been able to kind right, of do now. it and okay. doesn't break any terms of service. So that's like, we'll manage your Pokestop nice little for you. Loophole there yeah. that they yeah. found. Yeah. yeah, not too bad. Okay. Not too bad. Uh, next. Um, so in Russia, some like officials over there think that Pokemon Go, uh, Go is like just like a, a ploy to collect information. Like you know, like CIA is involved. Definitely you is. walking Definitely around. Is. Now everyone they right. know where you are at all times. There, there we go. And so in Uncle the Yusuf, they're watching. They're watching. Hopefully, I mean, when you're walking around with a giant <laughs> backpack with fucking electrical gear in it, you know, to do your out and about mm -hmm. streams of your Pokemon Go action, they're like, who is this bearded this Middle Eastern as with long a fucking giant my backpack? <laughs> If they count toward my Twitch views, then yeah, I'm cool with that. Right. There, there, you you there you go. There you go. Two extra views. Just don't catch any Pokemon called an Ala Akbar because <laughs> you will be in fucking shit out of that, bro. Oh, dude, let me be fucking careful. Fucking bullet to the head. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's like kind of the attitude in Russia. Like, He's you know, not really a terrorist. He no. just, it's or is he? I'm not. So, <laughs> right. there we go. So, in Moscow, in response to kind of this, they're actually releasing their own kind of version of Pokemon Go. They're planning to kind of release it by the end of August, where you can go around and have catch Pokemon. You can catch like historical Russian figures like Peter the Great and Ivan the Terrible. So, you know, Whoa. really? You don't need no Pokemon yeah. Go. Go like catch. Russia's go got catch their own stuff, man. Go watch. Go like. Lenin. Pokemon, no Russia. go out of your house after 10 o'clock at night. It is curfew now. <laughs> Exactly. So end of the month, they'll kind of have that ready to go. So like you know, support support and Russia. Where are you storing wow. them? Where in the gulag? <laughs> <laughs> That's like in that purchase man. First of all, gulag store. You're like you know, you're, you're like just story figures. And Can the, you evolve them into dictators? Do they start as like? <laughs> so they start as generals and then you evolve them. Exactly. You know? yeah. There we go. Yeah, they start as socialist men of the yeah, people yeah, and then yeah. you evolve them into dictators. Iron fist. <laughs> <laughs> Catch that Putin tiger, you know? Yeah, like yeah. That, right? I like that. Oh, God. So, and the third story is, uh, you know, like, we have all these athletes from around the world going to Brazil to participate in, like, the, you know, the Olympic Games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so you have one particular, like, Japanese Olympian. He's won four gold medals. His name is Kohei Uchimaru. Uchimuru. Uchimura. Mm -hmm. Uch whatever. And so, no, no, it's right. And, um, <laughs> yeah, whatever. And Japanese. Whatever. No disrespect, blah, by blah, the way. Blah, blah, Your blah, names blah. are stupid. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so he's, he's from Japan. He hasn't played Pokemon Go for whatever reason. He gets here. Other people playing it. He starts playing. Racks up five thousand dollars in data bills. And so you know, oh, Olympians shit. aren't like they don't make tons of money unless they like right. you know like they have these sponsorship Sponsor. deals. Right. Yeah, exactly. So you know, this was like a big deal for him. So like he racks up five thousand dollars trying to catch Pokemon. He cost him, but he was able to go back. Works now with his you know mobile company, but. Yo, man, that's a hard... Because he just didn't yeah. know? He should have gone to Nantich and been like, look, just hey, listen, I'm playing it. this. I'm an Olympian. Can you sponsor me? <laughs> just yeah. they're, not very, they're not very com communicators over there, no. man. They're no. very silent. Yeah. Really? Have you yeah. have you tried hitting them up? No, but people have, and they just don't like, they'll just make a change. And They don't give it. a shit, do they? Uh, Why man, would you? You're, you're you got the Pokemon money? game. I don't know. Exactly. Probably not. But dudes, these are the three stories. Let's recap. So story number one. You got, you know, Pokefinder.com offering, like, management services of Pokestops in your businesses. I like that. Uh, you have number two, you know, the Russian Pokemon kind of alternative game. Fucking ridiculous, right? Well, sir. <laughs> and then you have, like, the gold medalist who's racked up all these data charges. Japanese dudes do like playing video games. They, they do. Yeah. Yeah. They do. That's true. So, what do you reckon, man? Oh, now, man. This I, 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 the first one I, I kind of like, I was watching Spanish TV, and they had a guy who actually had a cab service. Just to chase Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man, dude, this is awesome. They were doing that in San Diego at Comic Con. There was a woman advertising everywhere going, I, I do, we do really slow drives around on like mm -hmm. lift tours to catch Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. so, I mean, it kind of, this, everybody knows that this thing is a, is such a big phenomenon. Everybody's trying to find the Viable angle. business right. opportunities, off man. Of, off of it. So I kind of like that. Yep. But I think that, the, the, uh, you know, running up data is real easy. 
Like, I mean, I've done that. Uh, also, Alabama. Japanese guys. Come on, man. The Japanese are fucking yeah. on top of technology. Yeah. That motherfucker would yeah, know about yeah, that. He's yeah, yeah. If he he's an Olympian, he travels around the world. What's, what, do, you know what, do you know what sport he does in the Olympics? Uh, no. No, uh, okay, I, yeah, but whatever he does, I mean, right. like to be an Olympian, yeah. you got to be, you got to travel the world a lot. You know that you turn that fucking data roaming off when you go. I'm there. gonna go with the first one. I He's Japanese, first one. dude, man. The, the second one sounds ridiculous. They invented the internet, and Russia, no. really, Swift, <laughs> dude. <laughs> really? You don't think they would do what that? Do you, man? What do you They're think, very nationalistic, man? like you know, like oh, you know, like, we don't need this other country oh. stuff. We got our own, you know, technology, our own games. You don't They've got their own that? Facebook. That's true. They got their own Russian Facebook, man. These are all good ones. Yeah. Yeah, shit, dude. One of uh, these are I fake. Mean, Two of these are real. I gotta say, I think the fake one is. Oh, only one is fake. Only one is fake. One is really? fake. So you gotta pick the one you think is oh, fake. Oh, so that's easy. The Russian one. You reckon the Russian one? Okay. All right. Oh. So you reckon the Japanese one? All right, man. I mean, I'm like, you know. He's so sneaky. Look at oh, this <laughs> He's like, all right. Don't Both you flash those so sparkly fucking eyes at me. Uh -huh. I'm trying to throw me off the sink. He's trying to. I, I'm, I'm gonna go with. Uh, the Russian one as well, yeah. I think that that's stupid. And, and all right, uh, all right. that, like, what kids give a fuck about that? Yeah, I'm, you know, I mean, on I'm one hand, it's, it's, stupid, it's stupid the enough for, that it's, the government, not it's the, not stupid the enough yeah. that, that the government could be like, this is a good idea. Also, you know? I don't know if, I yeah, guess they celebrate, they create any game that celebrates characters like Ivan the Terrible. <laughs> I don't think I don't think that when you said that you lost me a bit. Yeah, that's he's a historical figure. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's also yeah, but it's also not the uh, kind of history they, they necessarily don't want to tell that. Yeah, they yeah, yeah, not necessarily the Does kind he have of a statue or I don't know if the he's, he's probably got his fucking Rasputin in it as well. Like I mean, I don't know, but probably right. Like he's a historical yeah. figure. Like boning probably. the oligarch's daughter. That's yeah. like a fucking. That's what we have to do to win the to win the the Russian estate. I it's like a Pokemon gym is a Russian estate, and you have to bone the oligarch's daughter <laughs> and fucking spread some Satanism. <laughs> um, some Rasputin. Some depth to the game. There, I'm man. gonna join these boys. I think Dude, that I didn't. I don't think we've ever had a all three triple. It's, it's been a while. Not for a while. It's been that we've gotten it. I don't think we've all. But I'm also. I just want to apologize to the people of Japan because I don't think any of you are not on top of technology. I've seen movies. You guys are the ones designing yeah, the internet could, and the shit. Could, you could, the switch could just be off or on, and you not know it. You don't even know. But you're data. playing a game that needs the internet to do that. But also, Japanese guys, sometimes, you know, he might have been on the fucking sake the night before, he might have got fucked up, and he's been like, oh, I'm gonna go yeah. to Pokemon fucking hunt, whoa! And then he's just like running around the streets. It's an addictive game. Like, you know, it's easy yeah. to kind of get caught up in it. Alright, I'm gonna join these boys on yeah. the Russian threat. as the fake one. Alright, yeah. alright, so guys, thank you for your contributions. Let's go through uh -huh. this. Number one, yes. He's the too smug. We've no! He is. He's too <laughs> smug already. Well, the, okay, let's go with the Japanese Olympian who spent 5,000 data. That is true. true. Okay. That is true. You guys okay. are good. That is good. Japan, you're losing. <laughs> right. And the business idea for, like, you know, managing a company's, like, nearby Pokestops is, I think, like, a great idea and someone should do it. But it's not real. Ah. That was a fake one. Fuck. So it's a real thing. The city of Moscow is releasing their own game where people can go around. And they'll totally play that instead of Pokemon Go, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? Right. Oh, I'm going to yeah. uninstall wow. Pokemon Go Russia, here. Russia, man. Every time we think yeah. you're getting your shit together, your government just fucks it all up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they get a lot of programmers over there. It's like, yo, make us like our own kind of Pokemon Go game. Oh, Very nice. We'll go with I got Rasputin. Um, there yeah. Go. Dude. Ugh. What, C, what CP power is it? Maybe you can trade, <laughs> like, you know. Rasputin's Russian bank is offering a solution to Pokemon Go related accidents. That's a different well, story. Well, that was, that's them teaching them to be safe, but they also uh, mentioned that they're making their own game in there. Russia's Sberbank in July began offering free Pokemon Go related accident coverage. In case what? In case you fucking fall under a, a, a horse and car a in a Russian village catching Squirtles. Russia thinks Pokemon Go is evil. It's patriotic. All right. There we go. All right. I'd be, I'd be curious to play the game, though. I'd want to see like video footage of them playing that game, going around Moscow. Swift, you sold that well. Yeah. And also, the first one sounds did, like man. such a vibe. Because I'm, yeah. I, I, I think it's a good idea. Like, you know why the first one was so that? believable? Because there are businesses are dropping lures constantly to yeah. bring people in. Right. Yeah. Swift knew that. He knew I knew that. that. And, he and I think it's a good purpose. business. Yeah. Yeah. Someone could jump on that. You liar. All right, let's have another one. All right, so guys, we got one more set to go. So, all right, here we go. I don't feel like we've won. <laughs> against Swift for fucking weeks now. Future Man some pretty uh, well recently. Got, like he, I think Future Man cropped like two for two. Oh, you I killed it. Yeah, yeah, you last killed week, it. Last you week. killed it. I didn't. I lost both yeah. last week. 
I'm All the right. only loser at this table. All right. All right. So you guys ready for this one? <laughs> yeah. So you guys know of the um, running of the bulls that happens in Spain? Yes. Yeah. So like, you know, people Pamplona. on the streets. Yes. Running the bulls in Pamplona. Yeah. And like maybe like since 1910, only maybe like 10, 15 people have died overall. A lot of yeah. people have gotten injured. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely but, good. Right. Right. So they're making a VR game that's running the bulls, which is kind of like, you know, you put on the VR helmet and you're, like, you're looking around you. There are people running and they're getting gored and you're trying to survive and move left to right or whatever like that. And so it's a VR game. I'm in. No. VR. So, I'm, not, okay. I'm not in. Right. So that's not the story. The story is... It's a is running that, game. It's running. You, you can't you, run in VR, bro. You move your controller up and down to move left and right. You're not actually running. You're like dodging almost. Whatever. Okay. So the real story is... Look, look at these me, eyes. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. He's, he's using tells now. Look at me. Don't look. You can't look at me. You couldn't look at me. He had to keep looking. Well, I need away. to read my notes, so I'm gonna look down all for right. a second. Oh, all right. So, oh, fucking avoidance it's technique. Good. So he's it's good. The game has received condemnation from the family of one of the victims. I think they died in not last year. There, there's no victims. I think 2014. Spanish people were too lazy to write letters of anger. Maybe uh, they're having a siesta, bro. They don't Al know. <laughs> Alberto de Jesus um, says that the game trivializes the event. What's his name? Alberto de Jesus. Oh, Alberto no, no, the de family, Jesus. The family, the family. He's Dead. Alberto de that, Jesus. Yeah, that's Rest that's in Alberto died. of Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's his name. Albert dude. Jesus. Number one. Rest Albert in peace. He's, he's dead, by the way. Right. Is he? <laughs> I don't believe anything yeah. you're saying. I'm going to get so much in trouble for this. But all right. So they say the family says the game trivializes it, and instead, they should keep the game. When but you told me you love me like a week ago, did you mean it or not? I'm find out in next now. week's episode. We can oh. have, <laughs> it'll be one of, it'll be one of the story. It'll be one of the stories. It's so helpful. Um, right, okay. So yeah, they say that back. instead, in this game, instead mm -hmm. of like running from bulls, you should play as one of the medics on the sidelines, helping people who do get hurt. Because there That's are medics that do that. Fucking stupid, by who the way. Wants to be a medic. Everything about his story is stupid. Yeah. You go. Well, the, the family's not a dumber. developer. There's people who feel insulted by running away and like surviving. Whatever. Okay. That's fine. Next door. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Like whatever. A jilted girlfriend. Fine. Uh, Dude, you guys. Fine. You can go out on your own then. Fine. Whatever. Yo, man. I'm just the messenger. All right. So next up. <laughs> next up is uh, you guys. Dota 2 is like you know a very popular game. It's basically like a you know a MOBA where it's like five on five and you know players control this one hero and they're trying to like defeat the other team. So every year they have this huge event called the International. It's like League of Legends. Yes. Pretty much. Yes. Thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I, I, saw it, I saw it front page, top viewed on no, fucking. No, no. Oh, sure. It's, it's funny how since Twitch purged a bunch of the view bot sites, Dota has like fallen way down. Has it really? Apparently. I haven't That's been keeping on top of that. I haven't followed it or checked it. But people keep saying like, all of a sudden the view bots, Twitch did something yep. to get rid of the view bots, and now Dota like is way down. So. And all of a sudden a lot of streamers like, yeah, I'm taking a break from streaming. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, take the day off, uh, run some errands. Yeah, 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 like, oh, I'm busy, I'm gonna go and, and break then, over like, here. People on the internet, of course, like, compile the list, like, this person tweeted that they took off, this person took off, and they're like, analyzing what uh, views some, went down. Wait, so I, much I, fun. I know, I know, we, I don't wanna... Well, we can talk about this, I think it's a fun thing to talk about. What's the, what's that, what's, what is that story? Do you, uh, you know what, you know what view bots are, right? Yeah, Kinda, it's just yeah. a bot site that bumps up your views. There's always like, Twitch streamers who like, get caught with it like, open on their fucking stream. <laughs> Basically like people uh, cheating on Twitch. Right, right. Uh, and people get banned for it all the time, but it's always very ambiguous, like who's doing it? And then they can always say like, well, I'm not doing it to myself, you know? But somebody's view body me, which like, right. it sucks if that's actually happening, but I'm sure most of the time. There's it's always view right. the There's themselves. one viewer on my, my stream that's always there called like TDR bot mm -hmm. or something, which I'm assuming is a bot. But I don't know how to get rid of it. I don't it might just be his name though. No, yeah. it's not. Then you no, can just ban not. him. Just ban it. You can just ban it. All right, okay. Yeah, but you know, Twitch did something. It was, it was, it always kind of like felt like a unfair system with that in place because anyone at any time could jockey for that position. Like it makes a big difference, Switch. Right. You know? It's getting sure. It's like yeah. the current yeah. views thing. Getting, right. Yeah. But how do you like? Uh, it's not the end to, all be all. Because but what I'm going to say is to to get a decent amount of fucking viewers, you'd have to have like. Thousands of view bots. Um, they're the service. Like I know people. Some people do have like you know. It'll bump them from let's say like two thousand to like five thousand. So it's Are possible. Are you fucking uh -huh. serious? Three thousand of those viewers will be sure. bots. Sure. Yeah. But well, that, but now Twitch is kind of like figured out how. At least they for did now. something yes. to shut that so shit what, down. So it just creates viewers. Yep. Fake viewers. It makes uh, your view Why did you just tell me this months ago, guys? <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk off stream. No, no, but um. But yeah. So now it's curious to like kind of see how that impacts yeah, so everything. Yeah. So Dota, you know, people are saying is is falling off like. A bunch so, of the Dota they're streamers. They're suggesting that maybe and that's Dota just what people are saying. I'm reading has been Dota does have a lot of people who play it though. Like it's a, it's a popular oh, game. True. Yeah. 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 Not to take away from from how the popularity right. of that game, but 
And now... So what you're saying is the developers of Dota have been paying money for viewbot sites to view their game on Twitch. Allegiance All of them are in the pockets of the fucking it. companies. Absolutely not. That's not where I was going. But, okay. I mean... I mean, so, so Dota is actually owned by Steam, Valve, yeah. like those guys, so it's like they're, you know, they own that. And they uh, also, and they're also, you know, part owners of like the Vive solution, right? Yeah. And that's where this comes in. So for the internationals, which is their big, like, you know, world championship for Dota, now you'll be able to like, you know, grab your Vive headset and you can actually spectate the game using your Vive headset. So there's a few modes. Well, one, oh, so one, you're looking I've at like, it. you can like sit True. there and you this can This is look. meant to be live. Yeah, like you can, you can watch it live. No. Or you can watch a replay too, because it's just a replay like of a game. You you're saying you can watch it live. You can watch it live. So, like, you put on the headset, you're in the audience, and you're watching it like, like on a big screen in front okay. of you, virtually. Yeah, yeah. Or you can choose to be like in the game. So, think of yourself on the battlefield, and you're looking around, and people are, like fighting around you. So, you can do that too. So, you're actually on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so basically, a way to VR spectate these, like, you know, any game or the internationals. So that one that's, sounds really real. That one sounds really not real at all. What pick? pick was it the bull running you don't believe or no, the I'm, or no, the VR I'm, I mean, thing? After fucking Russia, I'm like, I believe anything <laughs> You've seen Bobbitt so betrayed. No, well, that one, because it's the streaming... Vi anyway, we'll do this. I don't right, need so that one. So I think so that one's real. There's it's more technical. Yeah. Definitely. So, but VR is here and they actually run that, so you figure they'd have like a big kind of solution for like right. mm -hmm. using that. So the third story... So Turkey recently went through like, you know, like an attempted coup by the military where yeah. the military tried to take over the government. So they've been pretty paranoid on high alert about everything. So recently, a reporter was kind of going through like, you know, some stuff like, you know, in rubble or trash or whatever like that. And she finds like a notebook. Mm -hmm. And she's a notebook and says like, yeah, this is an example of like, you know, the kind of like, you know, code that they kind of use to communicate with each other. But that code it was just a dick butt. Was actually just <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that code was actually just uh, cheat codes from GTA 4. It said GTA 4 health, health, and like ammo. And she's like, yeah, this is an example of like you know how they kind of communicate <laughs> with each other. It's like, nah, those, uh, those, 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 are, those are just, just GTA 4. This is GTA 4 like cheat codes. But there you go, dude. All three of those are so fucking they're obscure. They're really kind of way out there. You've outdone yourself. This is the, I think, the what best was the first round, one again, in Swift? my opinion, you've ever it's done. A, it's a the rough one. Running of the Bulls. Yep. I think that and one's they, false. And they want you to be a... Dota VR right. watching through live, though. Uh, it was the live element. You can VR. watch it live or you can watch a replay. Bro, see, I don't think they have the, the fucking... You know how much... You can watch it live on Twitch. Way. Why can't you watch it live on VR? Because it's the same thing. Like, what's the, what's the difference? Streaming it live directly to your headset. Yeah, it's just video. But you're streaming, mm -hmm. again, the game mm -hmm. data so you can be in the game. I think, like, they're it's gonna do that. To be in the game live, that takes a lot of fucking... I mean, VR technical. takes a lot of juice anyway. You need, like, a good setup for that. Do you, that. like, move around God damn it, method. Jeff! What do you want from me? I'm just the messenger! Alright. Messenger <sighs> lies. Mm -hmm. Alright, Jeff is still... I mean, people are politically correct where they would go, okay, you need to be... My son died, so you, you should be the paramedics. And the, I mean, that's but no possible. one goes down to the running of the bulls to fucking patch up that retard who's doing it. No, no they have like, a lot of medics no, on No, but site. it's the they parents do. that are saying that. No, I understand what you're saying, but like, why would they be like, oh yeah, we'll change the whole game because this one person's upset? Mm. I mean, the developer's not. No, the developer didn't say they were changing it. This is just like the entire issue is that there's this game, and the family of this guy who dies says like, They're this is an insult. To what's that that sounds there. real to yeah. me. That sounds real. Sounds real the only problem is, is that then you're like moving the arms. I feel like the running of the balls. You've got to run, mm. motherfucker, and like standing there just pumping your arms back and forwards. Sounds I didn't like make this game, There's bro. only one I thing I do in life that involves me pumping my arm back and forwards, and I'm not going to do that <laughs> remotely. On no Honestly, it's not back and forth. It's kind of like that. <laughs> it's a back and forth motion, Dante. Don't pick apart my... You don't know how I masturbate. <laughs> I, I actually do. Uh, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <how> I <laughs> We've never been in a prison cell together. That was just fantasy, dude. Um, and what was the last one? The fucking oh, the last one was the Turkey Turkish reporter finding... Like, that sounds like it was would be real. People sure, wanna yeah. look, Especially during a military coup. Mm -hmm. I mean, They've like... They've gone through some of the buildings after being cleared out by the real. police. I think that one sounds definitely real. That sounds real, real to me. Yeah. That's, that could be a thing. Right, right. You know, finds in the trash. Like, sounds like this. a... Especially Especially after the news story where they use a still from a fucking video game uh -huh. and as the, uh, like, radioactive oh, radiation, that's a true thing. And they use mm. it on a major news site. I want to be there the moment they tell her, or whoever found it, like, uh, this is a code. She for was a like, video I did it. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I did it. I found something. This is going to be my breakthrough moment. My career <laughs> is going to take off. And then they're like, it's like, can you clear out your desk? You guys. Uh, got, uh, <laughs> got that box with the <laughs> plant in it. Yeah. Haven't you heard of fucking Google? Spy yeah, he's, like, he's got a cardboard box with a fucking one award in it. 
Um, so yeah, to recap, the three stories are yeah, running with the Bulls VR game. What, like, what, what if that cheat code thing? did? What if that cheat code was code for something that'd be, else? That'd be pretty deep. Oh, sh- you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah you're an idiot. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, running with the Bulls controversy. Your I no love idiot. it. Your fences. Yeah. You just wanted to be real. Sure. What do you reckon, Dunsey? What are you what are you thriving on? I, on I don't think the cheat codes is real. No. No. I mean, I think the cheat codes, it's, it would be too simple. You think that's just a made up, like a yeah, dumb yeah. made up it's story like that he urban, made up? It's like an urban yeah. legend like thing that, 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 that could happen, but it, it's too easy. Yeah. All right. All right. I think, man, what are you thinking, uh, man? I think the codes, real. I think the, what was the second v, one? The VR? No, no, no. VR's fake. What? Yeah, dude. Dude, you have a vibe at home. I'm nah, 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 nah. All right, so so, I, so, 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 so this is running the Bulls see. VR. I know it is. I dude, got you, you have Swift. a VR. I got you, dude. See how he's trying to convince no, so hard right now? Dude, pick whatever you want. Any of them could be fake. Oh, I <laughs> got be, your could ass, could Swift. Double. I, I'm with you, man. I think the VR, VR is fake. I know this why, is because stupid. I think the power to be in the game live, right. I think to stream that live to your thing, I think it would take... No, that's real. So, so, so there's, there's, that's there's, real. There's, 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 two, there's two VR things. You think the running the bulls? I think the, the running the bulls is fake. Okay. I think the right, the go. Dota is true, yeah, right. and I think the right. note is true. Right. Okay. And I'm right. There. <laughs> I'm very confident. Wait, and what did you go for? The Although if I'm right, wrong, so fuck it. I'm wrong. Just I am in an idiot. In the interest of keep me like good game answer. Okay. I'm gonna say that the Dota is the fake one. You were saying you thought that was fake too. So. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, um, I just confirmed with our seven thousand view bot viewers <laughs> that that is the fake one. Oh, it's not working. So what the fuck? What's happened? Where are all our uh, We got to take off today's man? stream. Uh. Uh, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. BA select start must mean take over the country, man. Yeah, there we go. So first off, excitingly enough, the um, being able to watch Dota oh, fuck. Is, is real. It's, it's, it's real. Ah, you know, fuck. it's a real yes. thing. Yep. You can um, do it. Yes. You Never can do it. Never lucky, man. Never lucky, man. All right. And next up, running with the bulls in VR. Real. It's fake. Oh, oh, oh future I man got knew me. knew it, baby. Oh. my first instinct. I knew it. You thought, yeah. It was the pump in the arms, man. No What'd you say his name was? No, that, that was a real name that I looked up. Oh, okay. he, he, he's, he's, <laughs> wow. actually, he's actually wow. he's actually like he's a commissioner. Going, he's going dead guy. Like and we would have known his name. Like we would have known his name. It's not dead, to my knowledge, at least as of like. Yesterday, I look up a, a random name. Wow! In Spain. What if he dies now and you just like uh, you fucking jinx? Then I've got a power, bro. I would charge for that. Like, yo, let me drop me a few bills and like I'll mention the next podcast. Who knows what will happen? You know, the businessman over here. Everyone you mention in a podcast the just dies. Man. Well done, Swift, and well, 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 well done, future. Oh, I got as well. it. I knew. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Really you're kind of it was trying to get it, me off that one though. Yeah. He yeah, was he was working hard to, to be like, whoa, that's real, though. At first, yeah. I thought you were talking about the VR, like, you know, the, the other VR one from Dota. Dota, and that's why I was trying to, like, like except uh-huh. then you were actually talking about the Bulls, and I was like, oh, man, I played like, it oh, up shit. unnecessarily. Uh-huh. Yeah, you did. Oh, man, I mixed it up. Yeah, you but, yeah. did. Good Swift quiz. Good well, Swift good quiz. Good Swift quiz. Well done, man. Yeah, well, well done, guys. Good well job. Played. Good well job. Well, once again, I'm a fucking loser. I lost everything. It's my first time, and I lost both of them again. You win. Yeah, I lost Losing again. String. But you know yeah. what? We, we're, we're, I'm not the only loser on this podcast. Some of you guys are losers too. <laughs> and you, you email in some of your 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 loser life questions, uh-huh. and we like to help you out. We got we got to wrap it up soon, man. So we're gonna we do a couple questions. We got like yeah, two got or three two, questions yeah, from some questions. viewers. We got some good questions here. Um, now, Dante actually, Dante uh, does a show called The Beige Philip. I mentioned it at the beginning. It's a fantastic podcast. You should check it out. Uh, download that. And there's also an app now as well where you can get Base all the Phillip episodes app. in there. It's Phillip on app. Android and on iTunes. Mm-hmm. There you go. So make sure you get that and uh, download all the episodes. Um, but on that, you actually give relationship advice as well. Yes. I think one of our questions this week is relationship mm-hmm. based. Yeah, I got it. So maybe when we get to that one, we want to okay. get you. Dante, really? get in here, man. Give yeah. the love, love, pro- the love yeah, yeah. problems a, a bit of help. It's like free therapy. It is. All yeah. right, let's have some advice for the future. Let's do it, man. Advice for the future. Oh. Advice for the future. Here we go, future man. Okay, you guys sent in some good questions this week. This first one is from Anonymous. It says, I have worked in business and IT Pussy. for decades. That's a long time. Uh, I literally cannot stand it any longer. I'm having panic attacks from it. I'm not making much money at it anymore. What should I do? I mean, quit your job. Quit your job. Do what you love. 
Been Sit working there for decades. For it, Next. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's there, in so many of these questions, like we need almost more information to give no, viable like, advice. I understand. I can you feel, know? I feel like here's the reality. If you've got a job that's paying your fucking rent, uh-huh. you don't just yeah. like up yeah. and quit because yeah. you go, what, what am I going to do? I'm going to get fuck, kicked man. out of my fucking apartment. Then I'm going to like, you know. I got something scary. about this. Go. I, uh, I always say this, this is an analogy that I say, like some, I'm, I live in Brooklyn. And mm-hmm. in Brooklyn, you have Junior's Cheesecake, which is the best cheesecake mm-hmm. in the world, right? And when you go to, when, when you decide that you want to get a slice of ge- cheesecake, there's so many things that you, that you have to consider. Like, there's mm-hmm. no parking. Mm-hmm. Where are you going to park? How are you going to go? Cholesterol, are you gonna have mm-hmm. kick? No, not, not that. I don't ever think about that. Okay. But the, uh, <laughs> am, am I going to, do I have cash? Do I'm going to pay with a card? Am I going to have, am I going to have somebody sit in the car while I run in? And so... What's funny is like when you just say to somebody, well, quit, quit your job, uh, they, I know it sounds vague, but stay with me, all right? This is the weirdest <laughs> fucking metaphor. So, so I'm so loving quitting this, a job man. is a lot like eating a piece of cheese. <laughs> I, so, but what I'm I just want this to never detailed, end. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a very detailed uh, course of events. You give a, a major fuck about cheesecake. Yeah, There's so many cheese. live cho- This is like so, the biggest live choice. Right, so here, but here's the thing. When people say, I want to be famous, or I want to be, I want to be happy, mm-hmm. or I want to, they say, they, I want to be a power top. Whatever, mm-hmm. whatever, but mm-hmm. you got to, there are, mm-hmm. my point is that there are very detailed things that have to happen yes. in order to, to reach a destination. Sure. And a lot of times when it's, you got to plan the journey. Right. When That's it's, right. when it's something large, a lot of times we have these very vague kind of guidance. We give ourselves this kind of vague guidance where we don't have these detailed uh, map how to yeah. get to our court. So, so for instance, he's, he hates his job. And, right. and, and so he has to figure out, set a destination. Right. Also, what is it about the job that you hate? Because what if there's an aspect of mm-hmm. the job, you were working in IT because I'm guessing maybe that's what you trained in, that's what yeah. you were good at. You must have taken the job because at be one good. point you thought this was the thing that I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. So maybe it's not even a case of leaving the job. Maybe it's a case of going, how do I change my, my situation? How do I change my position? What do I hate about this? And how is do it I the remove people that? You hate? Yeah, no, if is you, it the people? Is most it, is jobs, are, yeah, yeah. It's, the if you people. love the people you work with, yeah. you enjoy the job. Right, yeah. right. So maybe, maybe um, systematically get each of your coworkers fired and replaced. Yes, <laughs> that's what it yes. is. Well, that, Make I mean, up story. That is the oh my destination. God. You know, the yeah. plan. Yeah. This person was looking at Julie, porn at work. I can't believe Julie's still drinking during her lunchtime. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh yeah, just smell her breath. Bang. Then you give her one of those fucking. You like that name, <laughs> Julie. <laughs> Julie. 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 I use Julie as go to. Julie. Julie and Stephen are my go to male and female names. And they're all fired. I, and I think sometimes if you have a shitty job. The bus. You don't I mean, immerse. Bus. You don't immerse yourself in the job in the first place. Like you're just kind of doing it. And when you immerse yourself in something, a lot of times you like it better because you you're better at it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean, whereas you just go, oh, fuck this. And if you uh, really, going through the motions yeah, here, yeah. As opposed to when you're present, when you're doing something, some. If something. you if you download the Beige Philip podcast app and you and you. Pay for a couple of therapy sessions with Dante. He will come to your workplace <laughs> and systematically intimidate yeah, will, all the people I you don't like there. <laughs> come and He's choke gonna Julie. choke Julie out. Channing Tatum's gonna run in. Not again! Quit your job! Quit your job! <laughs> like Do you want to quit? You want to quit? I quit! Tapping out, Tapping quit. out of the job. <laughs> That's um, right, but yeah, you gotta you gotta work out what it is you hate about yeah. it, and how do you yeah. how do you change that? And it's gonna take more work in order to get there. You don't want to just quit. You wanna yeah. you wanna be keeping that money coming in while you also learn. It's gonna be really hard. Yeah. Swifter, Fuck, Swifter, you hated this podcast when we first started. You hated me. You hated, hated Future Man. This. You hated the guests. You hated everything about it. And then he was like, "What well, I'm gonna do? But is he was I'm gonna, present. I'm gonna create this quiz." Where I systematically get to point out how fucking much of a loser Jeff is on a basis, <laughs> and, and that now, gives me the and joy. Now he loves the podcast. Gives me the pride and in what I do on the podcast yeah. to feel good about. It. Right. Thank you for failing on purpose, so I have continue to get the satisfaction. This is it. That's Every day right, that I man. feel a bit more shitty about my fucking you ability to read people, so it feels better. You feel better about your power that you hold in this in this this three way. Plus, he's killing people with his mind now. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that too. There we go. Exactly. All right. All right okay. Good question. Good question. Good, good advice, question. Good luck, man. I hope you, I hope you enjoy your yeah. job more, dude. Uh, we'll get to the relationship one here. This this guy writes in, how do I approach, now this is very specific, but those hot cosplay chicks at conventions, like a very, very, you know, I it's guess the, the, on a more broader, you know, question here is like any 
attractive, super attractive female, like in general. Well, here's I I was specifically the cosplay well, tricks. Yeah. Well, How do you approach attractive women, Dante? Well, I think what happens is when we're guys, we look at attractive women as if they have more value than us. So we we're operating from a position of less value. Okay. And they and women feel that when you w they can feel that you think. That they, they have, have more that, value. So you just walk straight up to the women and you go, you are worth nothing. <laughs> That's what you, you <laughs> Hey, can I buy you a drink? Um, She's like, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. Um, but so, so here's a, a situation where I think there's a mentality in that. No. But no matter how hot the girl is... But that's true of both genders as well. Like when women who maybe feel like they're not as attractive as a super sure, hot guy sure. go like, this guy knows, he must know what I already know right. and therefore it gives him power. Right, but I, I think... That's the, the same with fame though, with looks, with fame. Sure, sure. If someone's sure. very famous and you approach them like, oh, you're famous. If you approach them just like a normal fucking person, same, which same. they are, right. everyone right. shits, fucks, eats, that's right. like cries. Everyone mm -hmm. does all the simplest All at the same time. But not only yeah, that, sure. if you have a girlfriend Friend, yeah. As a man, as a credible man, you have to take care of your girlfriend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That means you gotta listen to her dumb stories, and you gotta, you gotta, you gotta guy. You have to and go and see Molly and me, and <sighs> all kinds of horseshit. So there's, so you have to understand. Anytime, know how hot the girl is, you're making sacrifice. You're gonna make you you step into this girl means that you're gonna start to make sacrifices. Right. So even if she's hot, you're still losing. Mm -hmm. So at the very least, you should lose on your terms. Right. Which means, but I, wait, hang on a sec though. Sacrifices because you 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 have you have a very direct uh, uh, outlook on this. I know yes, that, and that's yes. you know that's one of the things that yeah. differentiates you from some people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I like that. But it's um, I think that's but but both of you is it, compromise is not necessarily sacrifice, is it? Um, it is when they're not, not making the compromise. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. If it's all one if sided, you're, but but uh, see, well, I I have a my my direct thought on this is that. Your ability to provide and make a woman feel safe is directly attached to your manhood, where her womanhood is not attached to that at all. And so part of being a man is, is making sacrifice. Okay. And it's not the same thing for women. We like them. We like them for their attractiveness and for sex and for how they make us feel. A lot of times we like the fact that they like us. More than oh, it's validation. That's yeah, but an attractive validation. woman yeah. who you think is uh, a bright, sparky, interesting person likes you. I like that. That's um, it's, it's what friendships right. are born on as well. I like that you guys like me because I'm like, well, I. It's a reflection. I think right. that you guys are all talented and interesting and good people. Mm -hmm. right. So if you like me, that means I must be one of those guys too. Sure. Mm -hmm. But if you, if you. That's why when Swift is so mean to me, <laughs> you cry. We're making progress, Jeff. Why, why do you have to take us a step back? It's like tough love. Right. Two steps forward, one step back. But we back have to be honest podcast. and open. And Swift could, Swift could kill you with his mind. So maybe yeah, he does have mind I mentioned my name a lot during the podcast. <laughs> he does have mind bullets. I'm scared. Yeah. But I, I think that understanding what it is to be a man, to be a credible man, and that you have to make these sacrifices, it you can start to feel as though even though she's hot as shit. Put yourself yeah. in this guy's shoes. Then he's like a he's a guy. He watches Twitch. Um, you know, he's got even a video gamer geek, you know, yeah. a bit like us, you know, but he might be a very handsome guy. We don't For know sure. what he looks like. Right, right. How does he walk up to that girl, that cosplay girl? You know what cosplay girls are yeah, generally yeah, like? Yeah. Very attractive, normally showing it's quite a bit of flesh, you know, right. well, big fake boobs, you know, but here's, the here's, that's what he's into. But How does he go up into, to her? It's still into, it's still value. It's still into a value and what went. So what it's about it, a mindset rather than it's specifically what you say. It's about approaching confidence, without. Confidence, right? Yeah. But the, but the mindset is usually based on what you think. Do you know what I'm saying? It, mm -hmm. You could be an unattractive guy, but if you th if you're confident, women. I hold see as much value as this woman, and you approach her with that attitude. With that attitude. So what's interesting about it, one of the things I always say is whatever's broke, fix it. So you're looking at this girl, and she's got this great costume on, and she's sexy, and she's done this. What if you're there with a with you're dressed like fucking I don't know, uh, like the Gears of War. Guy with Aquaman. the full dude, all those cosplay girls, pretty much all of them, I would say, not all of them, that's a, a major exaggeration. A large <laughs> amount of them have boyfriends. The ones who do have boyfriends, a lot of them seem to be their boyfriends are successful male cosplayers, You're right? Right, or big too, yeah. YouTubers, or whatever they've, they're doing something great with their right. lives as well, and exactly. certainly that's within the, the same point. world. Or so, Twitch viewers, you have a chance. No, I mean, like everyone, yeah. <laughs> this is the thing, like 
I, I, I went to uh, San Diego Comic Con this year and I cosplayed in an amazing fucking outfit that was oh, made for yeah, me. I didn't yeah. make it myself. Amazing. But I actually went up to what the Assassin's Creed bit. I, I had like a modern, I'll show you the armor afterwards. Oh. But it's like a Marvel meets Assassin's Creed universe. Yeah. It was like an original character. Like a cardboard box. It was like a cardboard and then Jeff box. Just uses I just imagination. drew some apps on it. Yeah. <laughs> Cut some went, armholes you out. Went as a, oh, you went, oh, you went as a. Put a cape around me. Jeff put a box on and went as a die. Fucking killed it, bro. Um, no, but it was it's like a like a right. it was like almost like a superhero version of an Assassin's Creed universe character. Right. It was fucking awesome. Dude. It was cool, man. It was really and, cool. and I went up to a bit and there was this girl called Riddle who's um, mm -hmm. a very super popular um, cosplayer, very mm -hmm. attractive girl and she was doing some Assassin's Creed cosplay and I'm going to be honest, I feel like my outfit was better was better than her outfit. Uh, now I didn't make it like she did, right. but when I walked up, I knew she was like, "Oh, can I get a photo with you in front of the branding Bam. and stuff like that?" Right. And like uh, she's got a boyfriend. I was. It wasn't like a sexual thing, but sure. she was immediately like, "Oh right. my god!" And also, you know, six or four. I got with the confidence. Right. It's, it is about mindset. When it's mindset. Here's how I look at attractive women, and this is my personal bit of advice. Uh, and I've been guilty of not doing it for a period of about a year and a half after my big breakup because my oh. confidence was shot right. realistically. Mm -hmm. And recently, I've started doing it again. You mm -hmm. can go at anyone. Doesn't matter how fucking physically attractive you are, how great your job is, how rich you are, how cool you are as a man. Confidence speaks volumes yeah. to women. Most of those super attractive girls are not used to having someone. They're used to guys walking up and being a bit fucking weird with them right. because they are intimidated. Right. And that's not sexy. I would go up to... Um, if I saw 10 amazingly hot women in a day, right. I would absolutely go up to them. I did it on the subway the other day and I got knocked back. I got knocked back in a nice way. You know, I went up to a girl who's super attractive and mm -hmm. I went... And she got off the subway. We were kind of looking at each other. And there was a little yeah. bit of a thing. And then she jumped off at a stop. And it wasn't my stop. And I went, you know what? I'm going to regret if I didn't say hello. Right. So I jumped off the subway. And I went, excuse me. Hey, sorry. I'm so sorry to stop you. I said, I I'm, there's no way that I could go through the rest of my day and not regret right. not having said hello to you. Uh -huh. My name's Jim. She was like, oh, hey, how's it going? You know, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And she introduced right. herself. And I was, like, I was like, I just had to say hello. I said, it's exceptionally likely that you have you have a boyfriend in your life. I said, but if you didn't, I'd love to take you for a drink. And she was like, that's really fucking nice. Like, I do, I do actually have a boyfriend, but you know, you're really cute. And if yeah. I didn't, I would have loved to go for a oh. drink with you. But right. I was like, have a great day. And then I had to fucking wait for five minutes for another train. Oh, right, was, right. No, but you know what? I didn't feel like I'd lost in that situation right. I don't think because. So. I did something. It made me feel even better about myself that sure. A, I had the fucking confidence to say sure, hello. And sure. I, was, mm -hmm. oh, I got it back, babe. I got it back. And if you do that, here's the reality. You can be like average looking dude. And if you say hello to 10 beautiful fucking women mm -hmm. in a day and you have the confidence to do that, I guarantee at least one of those women might be like, you know what? Yeah, here's my number. Let's Putting go for a lure drink. out there, man. You're fishing. You, you keep casting. Drink. And keep that's casting, why, you know, right? with my because show, Because she's had I, fucking hot guys just look weirdly out from across her ass, spout on your finger. Like, I, she's had like, she's had way hot later. guys right. just give her weird, weird looks like, on the and fucking side. not even say anything. And you were nice enough, honest, human enough to go up to her and say, hey, my name's right. Jeff. And yeah. not, not, not nice tits, but something. Yeah, just, and, like, and I, and I just want to say hello to you and I wanted to introduce myself because, uh, I, I don't know. I, I think I think you're fucking enchanting. Right. And I just wanted to say hello. That's charming. And could I, even, confident. And you charming. don't even have to like put on the spot and go. Listen, I don't want to put you on the spot. Can I just give you my number? And if you'd love to get a drink someday, I'd, I'd love to fucking take you out. Yeah. And then boom. And then you can just ignore it if you want. Simple as that. And, like, and you know what? One of them will stick. Yeah. I mean, you know, and I then you handcuff her to your radio, and you never let her leave because you Black will never get a woman that attractive ever again, <laughs> and she will only break your heart. <laughs> Ignore I, that last bit. That's just that's I, coming from I my advocate personal. one of the things I advocate on my podcast is to lay the five bricks and speak to five women a day every day for eight weeks straight. That's thirty five women a week. If nothing else, you just get better at talking to women. You, right. And you learn you you will trip and fall into some pussy by accident in the process of that. But you learn <laughs> something about you not only learn yourself about something about women, but you learn something about yourself and how you're charming and how you're not charming and how what your 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 you learn a technique because a guy who's great with women, I mean Jeff does great with women. Uh, no, in periods of my life I do great with women but and in, in other periods I suck. Like that dude, it's only the last couple of months, two or three months. When I got back from Romania, that's when it changed. Prior to that, I realized for the last year and a half, girls that I would normally there was one specific case I can think of, in fact two girls, but one specific one who actually said it to me. She went, "I don't feel like you're Here's the thing, like I feel like you're 
right you're place. not in the right place and that's making you less attractive if yeah. I'm honest because you are good looking I would I am into you aesthetically but there's something about mm-hmm. it's like you, you want, don't believe it you don't believe in yourself <clears throat> right. yeah, and right. that's what's turned me off and I'm right. like and it hurt me to hear it. Yeah. And I was a bit like, well, I don't know. Maybe you're maybe wrong there. Maybe I'm just really sure about what I want. And, blah, blah. and then I went away from it. I was like, yeah, no. And I yeah. sent her a message. I went, hey, thanks for being honest. Because yeah. actually, you're right. And um, But so what I'm, I'm saying like, is, yeah, no, yeah. I'm not always winning with girls. But you but, have to lose to learn how but, to win. Right. Relationships and meeting women is the one thing that we think you should be good at. Without, you play video games and you practice all the time to get to different levels and you, you, you lose and you reset. Women is the one thing that you don't, we don't practice. Yeah. You, you, and, you just, and then you feel down on yourself because you, you got to rank if up, you're man. Playing, you if you're playing yourself, Madden against some, you're playing Madden against somebody who plays Madden. I mean, guys who have been playing. There's no way that you can step into that game. A guy who has this controller already has his team on a fucking, yeah. on, on on the memory. Let's put the there's, time in. There's no way you're gonna beat this guy. So you have to learn it. You have to practice. It's a skill just like anything else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the start of it, like. Eight weeks, five women a day, seven days a week is 285 women. I know guys that get laid all the time that it would take them two years to talk to 285 women. Yeah. And you're doing it in this intense t- this period of time yeah. where you just, you, you just start. And it, first of all, you get past, you get, the first thing happens is you, you get past the, um, the approach anxiety. Right. The, the rejection. Um, secondly, you start to learn how you, you're, you, to how what is more successful? What works for you? What works for you? Yeah. And you 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 also don't. And I say don't. Ab, I don't advocate a guy talking to just the hot girls. Say something to the lady at the grocery store, the old lady that's fifty years old. Wow, your hair's yeah, because she's down to fuck too. <laughs> Well, I wasn't right. thinking that, but yeah, okay. We need to clean up on all three. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but but doing that and just giving a compliment, your hair is nice. Why you have pretty eyes? You, well, I love your shirt. I love your blouse. I love your shoes. That's a pretty nice bro. That kind of interaction is what gets past the, gets you also, past Also, you're going to make someone feel good. Sure. That, yeah. That's always awesome nice, is that? For sure. That's a good thing. How all awesome right. was that? So, cosplay girls, if you're approaching them, just you got to have a little confidence. And have a better costume. <laughs> and have a better, one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, create some fucking, is that specifically yeah. being into what, I mean, it's, it's like anything in the world. Sexy. People like, and also they, they find it attractive if you're into the same stuff, man. Yeah, you're right. That's why I can't wait to meet a girl who just wants to play fucking video games with me all day. And then go out for nice dinners. That's I mean, what I, I want to do. I want to go I for don't nice think dinners. A, they're out there. Yeah. I don't think they a are. woman ever yeah. wants a guy who loves her more than she loves herself. Yeah. Like, if you you think you're putting her on a pedestal and she hasn't earned it, then that says that your value is for shit. Right. Yeah. So Completely agree. You, you, you're meeting her. She's attractive, but she could be a dirtbag. Like, don't assume that you're going to like her just because she's hot. Because right. she can still be an Every awful single person. one of you just Definitely. got 20,000 XP. From that, that was it. You've just you've just leveled up for free. You're it's welcome. <laughs> Dante Nero dropping the real the realness. He's got more on his podcast. We got one more we as got well. One more. Let's yeah. do this one more, and then we're gonna have to wrap things up, guys. We've been this has been great, man. It's just been flowing really nice. Yeah. So I appreciate. Um, it. Okay, this one says I always. This is from Since Bitter. Okay. Shout out to Since Bitter. Uh, I always tend to tackle four to five projects at the same time and realize I'm doing too much at once. Uh, in the moment, I've burned myself out already. How can I learn to pace myself better and make room for days of taking breaks without feeling like not progressing or wasting those days? I can relate to that. Sure, yeah. First hand. You, uh, well, definitely, I think, like, I think one all of us, of us can. Yeah. yeah. Too much. How do you relax? I used to relax by drinking alcohol, but I've given that up now. And that I, realistically, I realized why I was drinking every day is because it was the only time that my brain stopped thinking about the million other jobs that mm-hmm. I had to do. But that was actually unhealthy. Yeah. yeah. Um, pick it, I think picking. You have two days off a week now. I have two and days I have off. Two days I have two days off from streaming. But you I actually, actually I use do those stuff days, yeah, to catch up on stuff, emails, and yeah. fucking redoing overlays, all and overlays, and then like tags shit, up, yeah, yeah. Mm. and working on YouTube stuff. So I, I, you know, I found that early on I would have so many ideas for all these projects, and I could chip away a little bit at each of them, but it was almost too much. And I've gotten better at being like, okay, I'll wake up, make myself breakfast. Uh, 
you know, go around the corner to the store, run some errands or whatever. It sounds like building a schedule into your life. Building a yeah. fucking schedule yep. is huge, You know what man? sucks fucking dick? Especially for someone, I can't speak on your behalf, but I fucking hated organized like i hate uh, hated you know higher education and organized education and and that kind of element you know between 9 and 11 you're doing history and then mm. between 11 and Dude, I, just I hated, hated that. it yeah right. and so but i've realized now at There's 32 at the right age actually to have a life that does allow Program. time for yeah. if it's on yeah. your on you. schedule no, 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 no. Like we should just kiss <laughs> and just get it over <laughs> and done with i wore a rain it's jacket kiss, <laughs> right? yeah. I'm glad so that's white clean. That's why I have this, dude. There's a deal. Like, I think there's... <laughs> I can put my vibes around here. You hit an age. You actually hit an age where you're doing so much yeah. that you actually have to build some kind of schedule back in and then that allows you some time where you go, sure. hey, you know what? I've done all the fucking jobs and now it's time to watch a couple of episodes of that shit that I like yeah. or go out for a walk and yeah. have a fucking iced coffee. In that the downtime is so important. I, I like having my own schedule now. Yeah. That's the big thing. When it was right. like... Yeah, college yeah, but you or high school. You travel through fucking time. You're a cheater, man. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, that's not fair. <laughs> that's true. That's not, yeah. How do you find relaxing? Time? I mean, well, I, I always say to you have to ice pick your thinking. What mm -hmm. I mean by that is like you kill know, it with well, a fucking well, sharp object. Yeah, well, I, an ice pick is probably I one of the a most theme around you. Yeah, no, I it's just choke it. Just, stab well, it. ice pick, choke ice it, stab pick stab is it. one of the most da dangerous weapons because. It brings all the pounds per square inch on a needle on a pinpoint. Right? Yeah. So you can you can go through a bulletproof. It's a terrifying vest. You can outlook go that you have skull. on life. Yeah, well, I mean, but it's it's awesome. You can go through a skull. I mean, not that I have. But we're gonna wrap this up there, guys. <laughs> 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 Never been in jail. <laughs> but, my, but my but yeah. my point is when you start to, when you focus on that when and you have that laser focus about what you're trying to accomplish and you set the destination. Yes. You set the map. And Hello. You execute. Yeah. What's my emergency? I don't. don't there hasn't been one yet, and just I'm preparing. He's <laughs> talking about ice picks. Come on. Over. All right, uh, but if you you set the destination and you you map it out how to get there and right. then reward yourself. For achieving that goal, but to but not to like where you said, with cheesecake probably knowing you yeah you, where you chip mm -hmm. you know how you say you are chipping away at yeah. so many different things you get nothing done yes it's almost like it's like put it's like you have five shitty cars hey you know what the best thing is was a, a simple fucking car. thing lists yeah I don't yeah, know sure. if that oh works or right not because there's a, a small feeling of success every when time you, you cross something that, off yeah, sure, sure. It's and very physically powerful. handwrite them as well don't just have a list you you write out and you go uh. Uh, 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 and when you've done oh. fucking 10 things in a day, no you look back way. and you go, now I'm going to just like masturbate and jizz on my own stomach you and feel good chill, about dude. it. Yeah, th cross that I mean, off the yeah. list. That's how, yeah, cross that's that off the list. <laughs> no, you jizz on the list. You <laughs> yeah. Screw it that up. Yeah. Throw it in the bin. <laughs> or you stick it to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. People come around and go, wow, that's wow, an amazing that's paper mache. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah, it is. All those yeah, lists that I got. Yeah, man. Prioritize. Find time. Schedule it out. friends. You Eat know. food, fuck beautiful women, approach them. You in the are right gonna way. have those days where you just you might not get your shit done though. Yeah. yeah. So we're human. You're gonna have those days, you know. But everybody but everybody's try and human minimize and we, those. If you're human, you will always right. have to give forgiveness. Yeah. And you'll always ask Don't for forgiveness. Yeah. That's part Even of the Even from human. yourself. Sure. You gotta forgive yourself. Yeah. <sighs> That's yourself. a beautiful Love fucking yourself, message dude. to end on. Love yourself and forgive yourself. Swift. I forgive you, thank you. Oh, for thank the way you. that you oh, lie finally. to us on a weekly basis. <laughs> thank you. And I forgive myself yeah. Yeah. for the thoughts that I have about you, you when I'm laying in bed at night. Swift has already forgiven they're himself. Natural. They're, perfectly <laughs> natural. <laughs> they're perfectly natural thoughts, and it's okay for a man to feel that way about another man. Guys, it's been an absolute fucking pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us on another episode of the D-Pad Podcast. Make sure you check out Dante Nero's own podcast, The Beige Philip Show. You can find that on iTunes. You can find it on the app on Android and iPhone. Make sure you support that. And also check his website. Yeah. Or Dante do you want to go? Yeah, John, Dante, Dante Philip. Nero Dante Nero Nero.com. Um, but also I think you should probably Twitter is where we put most of our yeah, details because we're fucking too lazy to update websites Yeah, and I do, a, I do a Periscope every Friday where I do free kind of... Uh, Relationship advice. Oh, oh nice, every, cool, every man. So a bit of live action as well. Nice. But D A N T E N E R O on Twitter and Instagram and across all of that business. Yeah. Um, also, make sure you follow my main man, Swifter and Future Man Gaming. Twitch.tv forward slash Swifter. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Future Man Gaming. Also, find them on Instagram. Like, these guys are Instagramming a lot now, I noticed. Yeah. You guys have been nice doing. Up, yeah, you've been updating yeah. your Instagram. 
You've been Snapchat, doing a lot on man. Twitter. You're a hell of a lot on Twitter, and you're a hell of a lot on Snapchat and Insta. I feel like that's the that's the yeah. area. So make sure you find them across the board, and myself as well. Twitch.tv forward slash Jeff Leach. Uh, you can find me J E W F L E A C H on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Vine, uh, Steam, Grindr. your mum's phone. Just search on Jeff Leach. I'm in there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and also, and this is like where we 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 need you to go and do this, guys. Please go to YouTube.com forward slash the D pad cast. We're going to be uploading the full VOD episodes and dropping those systematically over the next couple of weeks. Nice. There's going to be a lot of uploads going out. We're going to be talking about this afterwards, exactly how we're yeah. going to do it. But basically expect a huge amount of content from all the previous episodes over the next few weeks for you to digest and enjoy at your leisure. Yeah. Uh, and also find us on iTunes and SoundCloud, the D pad cast. That's the easiest way to find mm-hmm. us iTunes the D-pads and uh, download it it's free fucking 17 episodes after this one for free for you Mm -hmm. get stuck in guys it's been real what's coming up anything exciting coming up we need to plug uh, not in particular. I mean, no, uh, you guys did your um, Rockstar Games thing. Yeah, yeah that was done. actually a lot of fun, right? right? We that was insane. Yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I hope you had fun without <laughs> me. Go fuck <laughs> yourselves. Uh, make sure we see you soon at a live show. Me and Dante doing some comedy. Yeah. These boys streaming this afternoon. Yeah. See you later. Peace. Later, Lots guys. of love. Bye.